Don't worry, buddy. Hi, Dora. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Just going to give it a few minutes for everybody to step on in here. Hi, Christine. I'm so glad you were able to get in here. Happy New Year to you also. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Bob's here also. He's uh, playing with the cats. He got the laser out to get them occupied because they're, you know, all over tonight. But he's here. I'm looking staring at him. Hi, Rebecca. Welcome. Glad everybody's uh, starting to starting to come on in. Uh, I will go ahead and get started with. Just the little, uh, you know, uh, informational stuff that I do um, talk about before I start my auctions. Um, if you are new to my auction, hi, Kathy. Welcome. Two Kathy's in the house. Welcome, welcome. Um, so I'm going to give a few little uh, informational uh, guidelines and also um, announcements about uh, my auctions and how I go about as far as billing and all that stuff. Uh, so if you are new and you would like to bid or maybe you want to bid tonight, uh, please send me your um, PayPal information. That would be your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and your uh, PayPal billing email to my email, which is right down there, trbl5 at yahoo.com. Make sure you put trbl. That is not a number one. Some people get it mixed up, so I go ahead and try to emphasize that before we start. Um, also, I do all my invoicing every single Monday. So all my... Um, Past auctions up until Monday are going to be included into Monday's e uh, invoice. So no matter whether you purchase one thing or a million, I am going to invoice you guys tomorrow, okay? Because I do not hold items. I do not hold items for several reasons. One of them being I live in a very small, confined place. I have no room 
to put everybody's stuff in boxes and hold it until eternity. I just don't have the space. Along with that is I prefer not to. I prefer that my payday is every Monday. That's just how I choose to run my particular business. Everybody is different. Uh, I hope that everybody is understanding of that, that uh, that's just how I run things. Um, it's nothing against anybody in the audience. It's just how I personally do things. So with that being said, I will invoice all of you tomorrow for tonight's auctions and also the packs. Welcome, Lisa and Lydia. Thank you guys for being here. Um, and Happy New Year, Lydia. Lydia just had a new grandbaby not long ago. And uh, grandbabies are the best. They are just the best. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to get that informational uh, guideline out to those of you that are new to my particular auction. Like I said, I do do it a little bit different than other people. Uh, I know a lot of people out there hold items. I just do not. Um, I hold them for a week, like I said, every Monday. But then come Monday, that's my payday. I invoice you. I do require payment within 24 hours, uh, if you could kindly. If there is a situation, obviously, that occurs because they do. If, uh, you know, something tragic happened and your money had to go to a very a hardship, a tragic situation, a natural disaster, I understand. It's not that I don't understand. Those are the special situations that I will hold your item a little bit longer. Uh, thank you, Dora. I, it's, it's like I said, when I say I don't hold items, I don't mean every single time. There are situations that come upon us that are out of our control. That's a whole different story. But. I should not be hearing from that same person every single week. Can you hold my item? Uh, you know, this week my aunt died. The next week my husband died. The next week my uncle died. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Um, and, and trust me, those people do exist. I have had encounters. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to list names. I'm just saying that within reason, of course, I hold something if, if something got awful happens. But for the most part, when people want you to hold items, honestly, it's just because they want the shipping, you know, to be cheaper if they purchase a whole box of stuff versus one thing at a time. Although I do understand that from a buyer's point of view, because I also buy, you have to also understand from the reseller's point of view that we would like to get paid once a week. Just like all of you all that have outside jobs, you know, it's a natural thing. So I'm no different than all of you. It's just that uh, Monday is my payday. Uh, I know some people's it's Friday, some people's Thursday, whatever it is. Uh, but mine is Monday. So let's just disregard all that. Now we're going to get into the good stuff. The good stuff is this. I am starting out my auctions with dollar deals. We're going to start out all kinds of jewelry and even some oddball stuff. I'm going to start out at a dollar, okay? Bob who is Robert the Trucker. He is my roommate helping. He's going to be helping me tonight. Um, and all I ask is that everybody get along, uh, respect each other, and we're going to have a good time. Okay? So here we go. Let's get started. All right. Um, like I said, these items are going to start out at a dollar. The person who wins the bid wins the item. That's how it works, guys. Uh, this first one is a necklace. Um, it is an acrylic necklace. Actually, this feels more like plastic. It is kind of painted plastic uh, to look more industrial. Uh, this is a shorter chain, although it does have an extender to it. This one's starting out at a dollar if anybody's interested. And if anybody purchases this, I am going to throw in some earrings. Okay? Uh, so if anybody wants this necklace, you are going to get a pair of earrings along with it uh, because I have many earrings I need to get rid of. So anybody wants this one for a dollar? Uh, we're going to start it out at a dollar. Whoever wins the bid, uh, you get a free pair of earrings to go with it, okay? I just have uh, some new stock of stuff that I need to put in 
the place that I need to weed out all this old stuff. So that's what we're doing, guys. And uh, if you could uh, just hit that thumbs up, guys, and uh, my video will be seen uh, more uh, with everybody, of course, every time you hit that thumbs up. All right, we're going to move on. I'll move on kind of quick, guys. Um, I won't hold it too, too long. Okay. So I got another necklace. Um, this one is really nice. This one's going to start out at a dollar also. This is a really nice uh, statement piece. And this one almost looks like um, sort of like quartz. It's not quartz, guys. Uh, this is just uh, glass. Uh, but they made it look like there's, um, like it's brutalated like lemon quartz almost. Uh, but it is not. But this one's starting out at a dollar. We got a dollar with Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, this is gold tone. And the gold tone kind of sets off that uh, lemony color of the stones here. They are glass stones, and they are faceted right around the edge of the uh, glass right there. That's what's giving it all that shine. Hey, Stephanie, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. All right, Bob's going to count it down. We're going to go once to Rebecca. Like I said, guys, I am just going to start out with uh, dollar items, and we're going to go up from there. Uh, I got some brand new Cloisonne, guys. I can't wait till you see the Cloisonne I got for you. Uh, it is fan fantastic. I can't even say the word. It's so nice. I've got some really huge pendants. And I've never seen them this big, honestly, not in Cloisonne. I've seen them, you know, this big, you know, in other types of um, styles, but not Cloisonne. So um, I can't wait till you guys see those. All right, Rebecca gets that one. That's hers. Congratulations. I'll mark you up. There we go. Congratulations. All right. Let's move on. I got another necklace. This one's going to start out at a dollar also. Uh, this one is just, um, we've got acrylic uh, and plastic, really. Um, these are in the brown and auburn colors and the cream. There is an extension to this one, but no maker's mark. Uh, this would be a good one for uh, this time of year. I tell you, browns were big this fall. I, I've seen a lot of brown tones in the fall. No problem, Rebecca. And they're made to look like, you know, I guess they were meant to look like, um, you know, maybe some uh, amber or whatever. Of course, they're not. So we got Rebecca in at one. Thank you, Rebecca. But uh, like I said, these tones were definitely uh, the tones that people were wearing in the fall. The ladies, I, I noticed they went pretty big. We're going to go ahead and count you down. Going once. And uh, by the way, guys, I do have um, some, we're not just going to show necklaces. We do have earrings. We're going to start out at a dollar, bracelets, pendants. It's not just necklaces. I just happen to put these on my board 
and had them ready to go. And that's why I'm showing them first. So thank you, Rebecca. This is just a way for me to kind of break the ice with everybody, get some of my costume out. Uh, like I said, um, I am trying to get rid of some old stock that has been sitting around so that I can usher in the new stock. That's the name of the game. All right. Speaking of earrings, let's go ahead and start with the earrings. I'm not sure if anybody's into vintage clip earrings, but I do have a pair right now coming at you. We're going to start out at a dollar. Man, these are fabulous. If you are in to clip on earrings at all, I think you're really just going to like these. Um, these are these beautiful yellow beaded, um, like uh, crystal earrings, they're cluster earrings, and they they do move. Uh, they are clip-ons, and they are vintage. Um, there is no uh, maker to this. Did I just drop? Yeah, I did. <laughs> My first drop of the night. You guys know I had to do it. Had to do it at some point. Um, but anyway. Uh, another idea I do want to give you ladies with clip-on earrings um, is you can use them as shoe clips. You know, like little flats, little loafers or whatever. You can clip these onto the front in the middle of your shoes. And really strong clips like these ones, uh, they'll stay. They'll stay put. I just wanted to throw that out there for you. Uh, if you didn't have another idea for uh, clip-on earrings, that's one idea. Of course, you can uh, switch out the clips, and you can turn them into posts. We got Rebecca in at one. All right. Thank you, Rebecca. These are beautiful, by the way. These really are. And like I said, uh, shoe clips, that is uh, definitely um, something different you could do with them. So we're going to count her down going once to Rebecca. They're nice though. Going twice. Last chance. And we are sold. I think Bob wants some beer. <laughs> I think that's what's going on here. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. All right. All right, all right. Huh? We have Pepsi. Yeah, we have Pepsi. I don't think we have beer. I know of. All right, let's do some pendants. Um, okay, this pendant I just got in, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Oh, a boot. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can't wear shoes right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, mm, that's got to be rough, huh? her feet she she's had uh issues with her legs and feet yeah um i am going to start out this pendant at a dollar but i wanted to describe this one this one is a disney pendant from the pirates of the caribbean it's this key like skeleton key and it's got the um skull right there um the back does say Disney on the back. This is a Disney pendant. If you are a reseller, you could get more just for this pendant, I'm sure. But I am starting him out at a dollar if anybody's interested. It uh, does belong to the Pirates of the Caribbean. So.
All it needs is a chain. I did a lot of um, repurposing and repairing jewelry today. Uh, we cleaned jewelry yesterday and today. Uh, it's just been two full days of nothing, but uh, I did get a new batch of jewelry and cleaning it all, and I had to fix a bunch of it, a bunch of it I could not fix. Uh, it's just been one of those weekends. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put that one up. We're just going to move on, guys. I'm just going to keep it moving. Um, we have eight people in the chat. That's awesome. All right. All right, I'm trying to find. Okay, here's another pendant. Uh, this one's going to start out at a dollar also. I'm not sure if anybody's into pendants right now. Uh, but this is one of those, it, it's almost like the partial uh, yin yang. It's like one of the two. And it's got a little flower at the end of it. Just black enamel, silver tone. This one's starting at a dollar. It is a pendant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so many people out of jobs. It's horrible. And, um, man, the world has definitely been through so much this past year. Um, so sad. All those people. I'm really thankful that Bob still has his job. Um, you know, his job is considered obviously a um essential job so he didn't have to worry about losing his job and uh that was definitely a godsend um because so many people did you know so i am thankful that he his uh job was spared it was it was just uh fantastic that it was it could have easily, you know, went the other direction. So I am very, very thankful. Very. Um, let's do another pair of earrings. Let's do that. Um, let me see if I can combine it with a bracelet. That would be better if I could. And I probably have one in here somewhere. I have so many bracelets. It's unreal. So, not really the one. Not really the one. Oh, we'll pair it with this. Ah, I did find a bracelet. Okay, guys, you are going to get a two-for-one deal. Hey, Pete, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I have a two-for-one, guys. Uh, this is an earring and bracelet combo. We're starting it at a dollar. Just a dollar to start this out. Uh, I'm just trying to break the ice here with the audience before we get into the more uh, expensive stuff. And it's not expensive, but I mean more than a dollar. <laughs> so these two items together are going to be a dollar if anybody's interested. If you're into red, um, they're a little bit two different color reds almost, uh, but they still work. They're far enough away, you know. So, yeah, they're real close. Um, so, I thought they went good together, and I'm just going to pair them together. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put those up. Let me get those. For some reason, I didn't have the bracelet or whatever in a bag, but we're going to get them together in a bag here. All right. And if you guys um, see me go buy an item and you change your mind, just holler out in the chat. Okay? And we'll go from there. Um, um, um. Let's do these earrings. They're going to start out at a dollar too, guys. 
starting at a dollar. Now, these are really cool, but I'm going to tell you, ladies, right off the bat, there is some weight to these earrings. Uh, but these are really nice. These are rhinestone and uh, black with the black stone up here and the rhinestones. And then at the bottom, these are like uh, black velveteen. And um, really different. So there is some weight. I will tell you that. But this is how they would look on you. Um, they've got the marquee cut uh, shape black stone up here. And then they've got the rhinestones right there. We've got Rebecca in at a dollar. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, I like them because I like how they combine the velveteen here to like soften uh, the look. And so once it gets down here, it kind of blends in. All right, we're going to count Rebecca down. If anybody wants to jump in, please jump in now. We're going to go twice. Last call. And we are sold. Congratulations. I just heard my little kitten yelping. Every time somebody now goes to the kitchen, she thinks it's time for her to eat. Even though we just get through feeding her, she'll, <laughs> she'll start crying. And she's so cute and sweet, and she looks so innocent when she does it. You know, you wind up giving in. Uh, this cat will probably wind up being, you know, 40 pounds within two months, you know, because we... It's, it's hard to resist her little cry. So cute. Okay, let's do some bracelets. Let's, let's just dive right in. Um, we're going to start out, let's start out with a choice of, um, yeah, we're going to do a choice of, I've got three different choices. Um, yes, happy new year to everybody. Um, and I really, you know, obviously we had such a awful last year. Um, you know, this year's going to be better. It's just, it has to be. And um, I'm going to pray that for all of you guys. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to a new year. Thank you, Pete. And uh, let's go ahead and show these. I have four bracelets, and I did have my bracelet holder. I'll get that later, guys. Here we go. This is starting at a dollar. Now, you have to win the bid, of course, to win the choice. So this is choice number one. Choice number one is a green beaded stretch bracelet. Now, uh, this one is uh, cat's eye. Um, now, this one is already a little bit bigger. Now, I have a very small wrist. I have a six and a half wrist. This definitely fits you better if you're a seven on up. I mean, it fits me good as a six and a half. But it does fit better as a seven on up, I will say. This is green cat's eye, and that's choice number one. Choice number two, same exact bracelet, but different color. We have the purple. Purple cat's eye with the um, 
kind of caged uh, metal beads that are spacer beads in between. Same thing on this one. They are made a little bit bigger. So the purple is choice number two. Choice number three, I love this color of blue. Take a look at that blue. If you guys know the stone chalcedony, this is the color, the true color of a chalcedony stone. No, it is not a chalcedony. Otherwise, I'd be charging you more than a dollar. <laughs> but uh, this is a nice acrylic piece. It's got um, like a flower-shaped cap beads on the ends. And then it's got these uh, faux, like tiger's eye, uh, Bicone beads almost in between. That is choice number three. And then choice number four is uh, this black, uh, just like plastic stretch here. This has a tighter stretch on it. Uh, it definitely is meant to fit smaller wrists. Really great. Uh, this is something that I think they were trying to mimic, like snowflake obsidian. Um, Obviously, it is not the real stone, but it's nice they were trying to fake it. So there we go. Hi, Bobby. Welcome. Happy New Year. I'm so glad you're here. I've missed you, and I hope that you are doing well. Oh, you are welcome, Bobby. I have four choices. We are starting at a dollar. Rebecca is in at a dollar. Uh, these are your choices of bracelets. They are all beautiful. They are all different colors, so it, you know, whatever your choice is, we're starting at a dollar. Uh, we are going to go once to Rebecca. You got it? Okay. Bob's and he's trying to get something to eat. Uh, he's been real busy today, so he's been working and then um, around here, getting stuff done, and then uh, helping with the cats, so. Yeah, I love, and I love the cat's eye on these two. Um, I, I just, look at that, that glow that those cat's eye give. Uh, that's what's so great about cat's eye. They just give that glow when you just turn it. I got a new uh, bracelet that I absolutely, I'm in love with this one. It's kind of like one of those Wonder Woman bracelets. Uh, and I'm in love with that one. I had to keep it. I'm like, I'm supposed to sell it, Bob, but I can't. I can't sell this one. I got to keep it. <laughs> so, Rebecca, which one or ones would you like? The green one is one. The purple is two. The blue is three. And the black is four. Both cat's eye, great choices. All right, and if anybody is interested in the other two, they are a dollar a piece. You just let me know. That's all you got to do. Thank you, Rebecca. I will write you down. Yeah, the cat's eye, man. Uh, they use just beautiful beads on those. Really, really. <laughs> They did. All right. Okay. Let me put this one up. And um, later on as I go, guys, I'm going to be showing all kinds of stuff. It's not just dollar deals. Um, once I get into the good stuff and different items, um, you know, then we'll, uh, see what else we got going on. Okay. We got, um, you guys always know I have my hard goods. Those are coming up for sale. I have different items that could be gift ideas. If anybody's got a birthday or anniversary or whatever coming up, those kind of things. So, uh, be looking for that. Um, Okay, we are going to do another choice of, but this time 
it's going to be in earring format, okay? We're going to do earrings. Why not? And uh, they're different earrings, and we're just going to start them out at a dollar. Um, I need to get rid of some earrings, so this is perfect timing. You're really going to come up here. Uh, okay. So. I've got these cute little studs. Now, these are tiny, uh, but for those of you that do not like uh, big, gaudy earrings, these would definitely work for you. Um, so, we're going to start out at a dollar. Oh, yep, Bob already got them. So, here's choice number one. Choice number one are these cute little silver tone uh, dangles. They have the little um, black beads, little dangle beads, okay? Very, very tiny, I know, uh, but these are great if you have a second or a third hole in your ear. Uh, these would be great if you didn't want to wear them uh, as is in your um, primary hole, the, the bottom one. So there's option one, which is black. Option two is these little uh, green crystal uh, studs. I know they look a little cricket on the um, the cardstock, guys. I'm sorry. When I was punching them, they I got a little out of hand there. Uh, but they're these gorgeous green um, studs. These are not teeny tiny. These are a larger stud, which is nice. That's option two. Option three are the, these little white enamel uh, ball beads, okay? That's option three. And then option four are these beautiful red uh, beaded handmade earrings. That's option four. So option one, I'm going to show you again, are the little black studs, the dangle. Let me get them in my hand here. That's option number one, the little black and silver tone ones. Option number two are the green crystals. Option three are the white ball beads. Option four are the red dangles. We have Rebecca in at one. Oh, thank you, Christine. You know, I want to learn another language. I really do. Ha Hogmanay. Hogmanay. And that means Happy New Year's Eve. Oh, I love it. I love it. See, it is true. You learn something new every day. And you do. I know I do because I would love to speak a different language. I speak very little Spanish. All right, let's count her down, Bob. We have black, green, white, and red. Uh, so it's just a variety um, going on here. And I hope you're all having a good evening. Um, I think I'm going to be having some uh, hot tea a little bit later. <laughs> I really should lay off the caffeine. I've had caffeine today, I think, most of the day, which is rare for me. I usually don't. <laughs> All right, Rebecca, which ones or one would you like? Uh, black, green, white, or red? Totally up to you, and I will get you marked down. I don't have my phone right. Need to refresh my phone already. <laughs> All play oh, thank you, Rebecca. All right. 
Let me get those bagged up for you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Now, I have 12 people in the chat, and I, 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 oh, thank you, Bob. I know, I, 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 it sounds like I'm stuttering. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to have a giveaway, and you guys know I love my laughable laws. You do not have to purchase to enter. All of you are welcome to be included in my giveaway. Now, uh, this is what I'm gonna do, which I had boxes up here. Let me see if I can find it, guys. I had boxes, uh, so it's gonna be kind of a mystery what you win. I don't know where I put those boxes, I have no idea. Well, good Lord. I don't know. You know, it's surprising I even, I had these little boxes, they were numbered. Just three. Oh, well, I will just, let's, let's go ahead. I'll get the uh, prizes out right now. Let's do this. I'm going to show you what you're going to win, but you get your choice, okay? And you get your choice because, um, you know, I don't want you guys to get something that you're not going to like, right? So I'm just going to give you a choice of, I'll just do this right now, Bob, and we'll do the boxes the next giveaway. That's fine. Yeah. I know it's around here somewhere, Bob. It's My desk, guys, is still a mess. And believe it or not, Bob can attest to this. I've been working at my desk like most She's of the day today. All, all and night. it's still a mess. I mean. And it still looks like a hurricane hit it. <laughs> it really does. I'm going to show you your three choices, everybody. Get ready, okay? So, this is choice number one. Um, these are earrings by the company Mud. They are dangle. So, that's choice one. Choice number two are these beautiful uh, drop dangles. They look like aquamarine, but they are not. But they are gorgeous. Hi, Sandy. Welcome. And then choice number three, not to be outdone, uh, new on the tag are these long gunmetal uh, chandelier earrings. So, I mean, different, uh, different choices here for different women. And I think they're great. So, number two. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll probably sell it if it's still here after the giveaway. So there you go. <laughs> All right, let's do the laughable law. Let's do it. Do it. Um. <laughs> oh, this one is so stupid. I love it. That's why we have to pick it, guys, because it's that stupid. All right. Uh, how my giveaway works is this, guys. The laughable laws, it is a game. Um, or it's a category in the game Balderdash. Balderdash is a board game. It is the most fun board game of all time, in my personal opinion. So I love the laughable laws. I always have. What it is, is I'm going to ask you for a subject matter, such as person, place, thing. I might ask you for a one of the United States. I might ask you for an animal, an insect. I might ask you for an adjective, a verb. You get the drift. I'm going to give you a subject matter. You need to give me one answer and one answer only in the chat. And then I will put stop in the chat. And the person who guesses correctly uh, first wins your choice of earrings. So here we go. Uh, what I need. What I need from you guys, give me the name of a fruit. Give me the name of a fruit. Go, go, go. In the chat right now. One fruit, and you can't put my name down, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised Bob isn't putting my name in the chat right now. You were going to, I think. 
He was going to put my name, guys. What do you think? Um, all these earrings are new except the ones that look like aquamarine, which is wild. But. So. We had, um, what did we have, freezing rain yesterday was it, or the day before? We had freezing rain um, the day before, and then we still had ice. We've still got ice on the trees, uh, and we got three inches of snow last night. But, you know, the ice on the trees has just been beautiful, guys. I wish you could be here to see the ice on the trees, seriously. It looks like God just put a bunch of crystals all over the trees. It's so beautiful. Um, yes, it's cold, but uh, last night it wasn't that bad at all. For us up here, it really wasn't that bad. It was kind of a still night. Um, it didn't get too, too, too cold. So, um, but... It's just gorgeous. The trees. I cannot even tell you. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. Yes, we got some good ones. Bob's going to go ahead and put stop in the chat, and I am going to read um, the law is written. Here we go, guys. In Massachusetts, it is a crime. To fly a plane while eating a watermelon. That's right. Don't you dare cut open a watermelon uh, while you're flying a plane. Hey, um, I, in my view, you shouldn't be doing a whole lot of anything while flying a plane. I should hope the pilots keep their hands on the stick shift or whatever you call it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it sounds like somebody in Massachusetts, some pilot got caught red-handed. <laughs> oh, did you miss that one, Bob? <laughs> that, that was a good one. You guys have to admit, that was a good one. It was. Uh, hi, Amanda. Amanda's here. Welcome. Hi, Cleo. Cleo's my princess. She's here. Welcome. Okay, so did anybody guess watermelon? No. So this is what we do. Don't worry, guys. This is what we do. I don't. I don't let this just go. And I say, oh, nobody won. We're just gonna go on. Nope. We're gonna do the number game. But hang on, guys. I will give you. Let me write the number first, guys. Just give me a second. How many people's in the chat? So I gotta look at that. Well, we have Alexa, but we need to get her hooked up because we don't have her hooked up. I know, which is really sad. Okay, so my daughter got me an Echo Dot thing, and so I'm going to have to use Alexa one of these days. Okay, guys, please give me one number and one number only. Uh, between the numbers 1 through 30, if you could. And uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to get a drink real quick. Okay? And uh, those of you who just came in, uh, the person who wins get their choice of earrings. It's either choice number one. These are new on the tag. Um, whoops. You either get these mud earrings. Uh, you get these aquamarine colored stone earrings, uh, but they are not real aquamarine. I wish they were. Uh, or you get these brand new um, gunmetal um, metal uh, ball chandelier earrings, new on the card. So th that is your choice. What? Yeah. I got to switch to one. You want to just put those in the fridge? No, I'm just going to take the water. So everybody, um, oh yeah, you got it, Rebecca. I was going to say, everybody gets your, oh, and by the way, guys, I haven't looked at the numbers. You guys know how I normally do it. If 
nobody guesses my number spot on, I will then take the number that is just above my number. So if my number is 79 and Amanda guesses 78 and Rebecca guesses 80, I'm going to go with 80 because that was the next number past 79. Okay. So you guys, because we have to have a winner at the end of the day. Uh, so I am going to take the number above my number. I know normally people take the number underneath. I know, I know. Oh, I had to switch to my water. It's nice cold. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I decided to actually dress up a bit more than I normally do. <laughs> I actually had the time, I should say. Um, so thank you so much. All right. I just put stop in the chat. And the winning number tonight is number three. Number three, you are my winner. Let's go back up to the top. I see a four. And it looks like Lisa. Lisa, you are my winner. You are the closest person. You are the one above my number. <laughs> so, hi, honey. Are we going to go across like a good girl? Thank you, honey. Oh, your tail just whipped me right in the face. Okay. So, um, you can either choose the mud earrings. You can choose the aquamarine looking uh, dangles. Or you can choose the gunmetal chandeliers. Rhyme ice. Oh, the crystals on the tree. You're welcome, Lisa. Uh, which earrings would you like? Uh, it's your choice. You just tell me uh, which ones you would rather have. I picked three totally different um, earrings because, you know, every woman is different and has a different style. So... You just tell me which ones you would like, Lisa, and I'm going to send these out to you at my cost. Um, so you just let me know. The middle. That's a good choice. These are gorgeous. They just are gorgeous. All right, Lisa. Those ones are coming home to you, girl. And I love them. They're beautiful. Good choice. All righty. All righty. So let's, uh, huh? She liked those ones. The, yeah, they're real, they're really pretty. Those ones, they look like aquamarine. I mean, you have to do a double take. And of course, I can feel them and touch them and know that they're not real stone. But those, are some really good dupes for an aquamarine. I mean, they got the color spot on. I mean, spot on. All right. We are going to do another necklace. We're going to start out at a dollar. I need to get rid of this uh, stock, guys, this old stock. So uh, we're going to start out some things at a dollar. I am going to get ready to go to the other uh, types of jewelry that's a little bit more. Uh, this one is uh, like a hand-painted acrylic uh, pendant necklace. Now, it is done on cord. I do want to tell you guys this new jewelry that you are seeing, I did clean it. I ran it through uh, my jewelry cleaner. Bob helped me. Um, this one, guys, has three inches of extender. Wow, that was loud. Um it does have a tag I want to show you. Uh, it is the letter R. The letter R. Uh, so you can lengthen this out, which would look nicer. Because right now it's like a choker length. But you can lengthen it out. 
so it'll fit you better. We got Rebecca in at a dollar. Thank you, Rebecca. The blue in this, once again, the blue in this one, I have to say it's pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice light blue there. And like I said, it is hand painted. Um, and it does have the, the cord here. And like I said, I did clean it. Um, I did run it through my jewelry cleaner. Um, whenever I get new stock of jewelry, I, um, I try to run it through. R for Rebecca. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Sometimes it's really nice to make, to wear a statement piece like that, you know. Sometimes you want to wear stuff uh, more subtle. Uh, tonight I'm wearing my um, bar necklace. It's got uh, rhinestones, and I'm wearing that tonight. So, you know, you just, whatever you're feeling. I felt like being sparkly and because my shirt is just black, so. Thank you so much, Rebecca. I'm going to mark you down for that one. Huh? Hours of your life, huh, Bob? Yeah, we did. did it really? It seemed like it took forever. Bob loves helping with jewelry cleaning. <laughs> and he's getting better at it, so there you go. You buy bigger jewelry cleaners. All right, so there's that. Let's go on to some bracelets. I did get a bunch of bracelets in also. This one is going to start out at a dollar. This one is a memory wire bracelet. Um, this is in like a really deep, uh, kind of like a brick red color, almost, I would say. Let me get it on. Now, um, these are not real stones, although they look like it. They almost look like um, beans. But, um, yeah, they kind of look like uh, almost kidney beans. But they are not kidney beans, and they are not stones, guys. <laughs> uh, but they feel good. This is one of those memory wire uh, bracelets. Kind of move it around however you want it to fit. In this really, like I said, almost like a dark brick red or really deep, deep burgundy red. Um, one of those memory style ones. And they really, really look like kidney beans to me. <laughs> so there's that one. This one. Oh, Bobby's in at a dollar. Thank you, Bobby. Let's go ahead and counter down, Bob. We are going to go once to Bobby. And it's a nice one because if you like those uh, pieces of jewelry that are like fidget toys, because I do, um, these come in handy when you're kind of nervous or something or you're waiting like at a doctor's office and you're bored, you're just sitting there. You have this to play with. <laughs> I don't know. Either that or you can sit by Bob and annoy him. I don't know. That would be your other option. Bob would rather have me something like this to play with so I don't, you know, annoy him while I'm waiting. All right. Thank you, Bobby. That one is yours. Huh? Yeah. Hey, Glandine. Welcome. All right. 
This next uh, bracelet is a cuff bracelet. We're starting it out at a dollar, and it has the letter A. The letter A right there, guys. Um, this one looks like it needs cleaned again. Um, so, yeah, this one could probably use another cleaning. Let me see if I could take, I've got a Q-tip. Let me see if I could clean it up a little bit. It's just my Q-tip for right now. Uh, this one is like a dark, hot pink and a navy blue. And then it's got the letter A right in the middle. It's gold tone. Um, so there's that. Let me, I'm just uh, seeing if I can kind of make it look a little bit better there. There we go. How's that, guys? This is the letter A. <laughs> Catman Bob. And um, on the inside, there is no marking. That's the inside, but there is no marking on it. Hey, Carol, welcome. So that's that one. Letter A, if anybody's interested. Let's see. Let's do... I've got some rings, guys. Let's start out with some rings. Why not? A stands for awesome, so any one of you ladies could wear it because all of you are awesome. Bob's trying to get brownie points is what he's doing. I can tell what he's doing, guys. Don't let him fool you. I know. I know what he's doing. <laughs> I know what you're up to, Bob. Babo. All right, guys. We're going to start out at a costume ring starting out at a dollar. Like I said, I need to get rid of some stuff. This is size five. And what it is is a gold tone Hamsa hand. Size five, uh, this is just a little costume ring. Now, size five, as you guys know, those of you ladies that are into like midi rings, you could wear it as a midi ring if it doesn't fit your pinky or any of your other fingers. Um, but it is a Hamsa hand starting at a dollar, a uh, very thin band, just costume. Um, you know, nothing special, but uh, these are items that I want to get rid of. So I have them in my back stock. So we're going to try to sell them tonight. <laughs> Rebecca says you're good on those lines. Yes, you do try. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go on to the next. I have another ring. Now, this is a little bit bigger. It is a size six and a quarter. Now, this is starting out at just a um, dollar. This is like almost like a double ring, if you will. It's uh, one of these double rings. It's a chevron. Okay. It's two rings that are like attached right there. There's a piece that's welded right there in the middle. Um, so this is really nice. Now, I can't fit it on my ring finger. That's how it would look on your finger. Um, I think it would look best on, like, another finger. Um, but this is what it looks like starting at a dollar. It's size six and a quarter. It is silver tone. Um, there is no markings on it. We have Rebecca in at a dollar. Thank you, Rebecca. I think it's nice, honestly. If I mean, I wish I could slide it on my finger all the way down so you could see how nice it actually looks. It's just, unfortunately, this is as far as I got. So we are going to go once to Rebecca.
going twice. Last chance. And we are sold to Rebecca. Thank you so much. It really is a nice ring. It's just that, like I said, I can't slide it all the way down on my finger. Unfortunately. Like I said, guys, I got all different kinds of stuff, you know, starting at a dollar. So you just never know. Let me see if I can get some brooches out, guys. Because uh, that's another thing I need to go. Let's start this brooch out at a dollar. This is an Avon brooch. Uh, it's just a little, um, feels like um, it was made out of clay. And then it was, it has a floral scene that was like uh, screen printed on there. It is not hand painted. It's like a screen print. This is starting at a dollar. Here's the back, it says Avon. And it's got this like rope design around it. Like I said, it appears the feeling of this to be clay. And then they put like a resin seal over top of the uh, screen print right there. Cause that's all that is. Uh, the flowers are just like screen printed on there, but it is an Avon brooch. I do want to point out, this is just, um, you know, me being honest here. There is a little bit of a chip right down there, right there. There's a little bit of a chip right at the edge. Now, you're not really going to see it or notice it unless somebody's right up, you know, looking at it. But it's right here, just so you know. Hey, Brandon, thank you. Thank you so much. So that one's a dollar. If anybody's interested, you just holler at me and uh, that becomes yours. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and start getting into a little bit more, a um, little bit more expensive stuff than a dollar. Um, not too bad, guys, though. Um, Oh, I know. I want to do a couple buy it nows. I've got some paparazzi jewelry. Now, I know paparazzi really gets a bad rap because nowadays they honestly do really good costume jewelry. You guys just have to mark my words. I'm telling the truth. They do. I'm going to show you one of them. It's going to be buy it now for three. The person who wants it has to put want in the chat in order to get it. It's not going to be a bid. you got to say want, and then it becomes yours. This is paparazzi, but it is a set. Uh, this is this dark green, um, like, uh, embossed, uh, these dark green embossed um, donuts on this cord chain with these wooden beads. I mean, it is, I love this one. I tell you what, for the summer with one of those tropical maxi dresses, that would look amazing. I am going to show it to you like this. Um, kind of like a statement piece. Like I said, paparazzi now, guys, they even use real stone. They use howlite. They use, you know, rose gold tone. They do a lot of things different than they used to. And uh, you you guys would be amazed. Uh, but this is what it looks like. I mean, it is. I love this. This honestly looks like something Chico's would do. And you get the earrings to match. This is a buy it now for three. If anybody's interested, you get the little disc uh, earrings to match. Like I said, they're embossed. They got some carvings on the little donuts. And uh, that one is going to be a buy it now for three. To me, it gives me tropical vibes all over the place. And I'm not mad at it. I certainly, I, I tell you, like I said, I would wear that in a heartbeat with a maxi dress. I so would. Okay. Um, I have a three-piece set. It really needs to go. 
Um, these are brand new in the box, and I've had them for far too long. So I am going to do a buy it now. I am going to do a buy it now for $15 for all three pieces. Um, all three pieces are uh, at their price $40. Okay. I'm saying give me $15 and I will take the first $15. You just got to say want in the chat. It starts out with this um, pearl set. It's by the brand Brilliant. They sell this at Walmart. You get the earrings and um, the necklace. Right there is the price, $19.94. Now, all of their um, Brilliance collection comes with this little dust bag, you know, like they do for fancy purses and stuff. I mean, um, so that's a dust bag to keep the jewelry from getting dusty. Um, it's just great. Uh, so this one, um, it's the Believe uh, series from B Brilliance. It's fine silver plated simulated pearl. Okay, so you get the necklace and earrings and you also get with it the bracelet. The bracelet, as you can see, is the same price, $19.94. These have never been taken out of the box or used. $15, you just say want and it becomes yours, okay? So well, there's that. Then, if anybody in the chat um, would like me to show you a Catholic lot, Catholic slash, slash religious lot, I have a lot that's up for sale. And if you're interested, let me know in the chat, okay? And I will tell you the price and we will go from there. Uh, so I do have that. And let's go on. What else do I have? Okay. I have... I have two bags right here. Two whole bags of single earrings, okay? They are chocked full. Um, I really, really, really need to get rid of them. $20 a bag, buy it now. And they're, if you want one, let me know. Um, these would be great, great, great bags for, um, you know, for crafting and whatnot. Um, those of you who don't know, you could, uh, take, you could do craft projects anywhere from taking a single earring and turning it into a pendant for a necklace. You could do anything like that, uh, to turning them into ornaments, to making different jewelry items. I mean, the sky is the limit. Okay. So let me know if you're interested in anything like that so that I can sell it. Okay, because I have a couple. Okay, I have a necklace. Uh, we're going to start this one out at three dollars. Show it on my blackboard this time. This one is a mother of pearl necklace. At least the pendant is. Okay, and this is beautiful. Mother of pearl. Well, the glare on that. Yeah, you want to dim the light just to see one notch. Hold on, I just zoomed in. Okay. We're going to try to dim the light, guys, so there's not a glare on it. I've got it awful bright right now. We're going to dim it down. No, that's a silicone. Is it? Is it I don't think you can dim it either. Right there, right there, right there. That's good. That's good. It's getting cold now. Uh, anyway, guys, this is a mother of pearl. 
There we go. Now you can see it better. It is a gorgeous mother of pearl uh, shell necklace. Now, the beads are acrylic and they are fully faceted to give you the extra dimension. And um, here is the lobster claw on this one. This one is $3. Mother of pearl. It's gorgeous. If anybody's interested, you let me know. Okay, the next one, okay guys, the next ones I have are going to be choice, oh, we have, okay, I'm sorry ladies, I have, uh, who do I have first, let me see, I have uh, Bobby in first. So Bobby is in at $3 on this one. Um, like I said, it is fully faceted acrylic beads, but they give you that shine that you need, that sparkle. You can see the sparkle right there. So we have Bobby in at three. Does anybody want to go four? Uh, I love Mother of Pearl. I think, um, you know, as far as the shell, for me personally, I usually go for Mother of Pearl before I go for abalone, me personally. We have Rebecca in at four. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, but that's just me. Uh, everybody has their own. I know a lot more people like abalone because you usually get the rainbow effect of colors. Um, generally speaking, I go for mother of pearl items, but I still love my abalone. I love shell anyways, uh, but... Bobby is out, so we are going to do the countdown. We are going to go once to Rebecca for four. Oh, it's okay. We're going to go twice. Last call. And we are sold to Rebecca for four. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a beautiful, I mean, it's a beautiful necklace. And I I, I just dig Mother of Pearl. I, I think it looks beautiful on any woman. I really do. It's one of those. Let's do a choice of right now, guys, of bracelets. We're going to start out, these bracelets, we're going to start out at three dollars okay and these are really nice bracelets and they are different but these are the thick and chunky bracelets okay you guys ready choice of starting at three um the first one is by yik fung um it looks like leather, but it's probably like um, faux leather. I don't know for sure. I did clean it. I want to tell you I did clean uh, these uh, pieces coming up, uh, especially when I get anything made out of material or leather or faux leather. I clean it first so that you guys... Oh... Thank you so much. That's awesome. I will I will write that down. I will write that down, Rebecca. That's so sweet. Wow. I will do that. All right. Bobby, that's going to come to your house very, very soon. All right. That's so sweet. All right. So anyhow, guys, I did clean these pieces, and I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, these three are three different pieces, but I think they are awesome, and I really wanted you guys to see them. This is the first one. It's a thick, white, I would say, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is vegan leather. Uh, I do not believe that it is real leather, but it could. I do want to show you the snaps. 
because the um, it says Y I K Fung. That is the name of the um, company that made this um, snap like leather bracelet. Like I said, I am not sure if it's real leather or not, but I'm going to say that it's not. So you've got the gold tone medallions and the gold tone studs going around the outside. That's choice one. Choice number two is completely different. We have a denim um, bracelet. This is also snap. Um, this one, the buttons say Gwang Tong. G U A N G T O N G. So they both sound like Chinese companies. And uh, this one is a woven braided pattern with the uh, silver tone uh, chain woven through. That's choice number two. And then not to be outdone by either one of those two is choice number three. And uh, this is my personal favorite uh, because I like this style. Uh, this style is more me uh, personally. And this one is a leather bracelet. Now, I will say this. This is very soft. This feels like real leather. I, um, I'm telling you right now, I just wouldn't be surprised if this is real leather. I really feel like it is. It is so soft. Now, this piece of gold tone me metal right here is concave. You can see it's like a, a wavy, almost like chip design. And right here, it's got the little studs. You just uh, pull it off, and that's how you put it on. Uh, this one, it's very uh, modern looking, and that's another reason why I like it. I like modern looking jewelry. This one is nice, guys. If you want something like your most comfortable um bracelet of all time you're gonna want this uh because this like i said it's got to be leather it's gotta be can put snacks on it yeah i'm telling you it's concave right there it's really nice and uh that one is choice three so choice number three choice number two is the denim and choice number one is the gold tone medallion stud. If anybody's interested, these are starting out at $3 a piece. Uh, very different, but very nice. So those are your choices. I'm going to start putting them away. And if you change your mind, you just let me know. I just got these in. I thought they were really, really spectacular. Really, uh, really well made. So, all right, so we're going to move on. Okay. I have some gorgeous earrings. Uh, these are going to start out at $5. Just wait till you see it, guys. These are worth every penny. Um, it, they're just beautiful. Uh, starting out at 5 take a look at these. Uh, these are gorgeous. They've got like, uh, like almost like a mirror, um, like a clear uh, piece of glass in the middle that kind of works like a mirror almost so it's just glass right here just clear glass in this victorian style uh silver tone these are stud earrings starting out at five really really beautiful on this one guys now i will be getting into the sterling um, 
I'm just showing some costume because I got some new costume in lately. So I wanted you guys to take a look. So there's those. They are, where'd they go? They are not heavy. Uh, they, are, they do have a little bit of weight, Bobby, but they're not heavy to where they hurt. They're going to hurt your ears. But they do have a little bit of weight. I will tell you that much. Um, I have to be honest with you because I want to make sure that what you're buying, you know exactly. But they are not heavy where they're going to ruin your, your hole in your ear. They're not that heavy. But they are weighty. There is some weight to them. Now, I can weigh them for you. Um, I can weigh them in uh, grams if that helps you out at all. Uh, just so that you know. Let me take these off the. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. And that's important to know. Um, let me weigh these in grams, Bobby. And, and maybe that will give you a little bit more. Um, uh, a little bit more understanding of what they weigh. Uh, these are 11 grams, so they are a little bit weighty. Um, they're just not incredibly heavy. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, there is some weight to these. So, it, you know, that would be one thing. If, if you're not able to take weight, I totally understand. Um, I've got some earrings I really, really love a lot, but uh, they are really heavy. And um, I can't remember. I was supposed to take them out and put them up for sale, and I really didn't want to. But I know that I, I told myself, you're going to have to. You're going to have to get rid of them because they are just too heavy for me personally. And um, that is important to know because you certainly don't want something so heavy that you can't wear it. So we're going to move on. I do have some other earrings. Let's go on to the next. Now, these ones, guys, are going to start out at five. Um, believe it or not, uh, these are lightweight. They are not heavy. Uh, when I show them to you, you're going to think they've got to be heavy, but they're not. Now, once again, they have a little bit of weight. I'm going to weigh them right now. They are 15 grams each, so they are a little bit weighty. These are going to start out at 7. Now, I want to show you these, guys. Oh, man. These are spectacular. Take a look at these, guys. Uh, we have these. Now, these are not real Druzy stones, okay? I'm going to point that out right now. These are not real Druzy stones. Otherwise, they would be ungodly heavy with how big these are and they'd be hard for any woman to wear in their ear uh but these are lighter now they are 15 grams for both earrings obviously it's going to be half that on each earring so there is some weight but it's not extremely heavy where it's going to wear out that hole in your ear now i want to point out how thick these are uh, they put gold leafing around the outsides. I love these. It's totally open in the back. I love that druzy look. Once again, it reminds me of the color of an aquamarine, which I am not mad at that at all. Big, chunky ones, but the, it's just big in size-wise, but they're not heavy, heavy. There is a little bit of weight, but they're not, they're not too bad. I will say that. So there's those. I'm going to show you a bracelet uh, coming up next. This one's going to start out at $3. Uh, this one is a new clamper bracelet. It is new. It has not been worn, but I'm just going to start it out at $3 to see if anybody's interested. This is what it looks like. This is the uh, pattern. It's got these little three little squares with the uh, um, 
like the beaded separation in between. This is hinged uh, clamper style. Uh, you can see how new that is. Brand new. It's brushed silver tone in the middle. Um, oh, yeah, Bobby. That's that's probably what, yeah. <laughs> this one, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now, I've, I've got to tell you, this is one of those oval style uh, bracelets. I will tell you right now, if you are over a size 7, you're not going to be able to wear this. I, if you are a size 7 on down, that is the only way it's going to fit you. See how little that oval is? It's very small. And I just tried it on, and it's a little bit big on me, and I'm a 6.5. So I would say size 7 on down, okay? This is starting out at 3. If anybody's interested, let me know. Kind of that retro uh, look to it. Um, but like I said, you got to have a smaller wrist for that one. Uh, I don't want anybody to get it that has a bigger wrist and be disappointed. I, I really wouldn't want that to happen. All right, let's get into some pendants. Now, I have some stone pendants. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different stone pendants. Let me see. I've got to make sure. I just got these in as well. And I'm trying to see. I'm going to test one of them because they're all exactly the same. So I don't need to go and test all of them. I'm going to test one of them to see if the findings are silver. And then I'm going to tell you what we're going to mark it as. Okay? That's how we'll do it. So I'm not seeing any marks, but that doesn't mean it's not sterling. But uh, we're going to give it a good scratch here. We're going to test it. And it doesn't look like it. We're going to test it. We're going to see if it's sterling. And if not, then I'm going to sell them either way, but i got to see if it's sterling or not because I, I did not test any of these, but they're all exactly the same. Yeah, I thought so. They're not. All right. So these are just stone pendants. Uh, this is going to be choice of, we're going to start these out at $5. Uh, that's how we're going to do it. Why not? Uh, this first one. Hmm. It really looks like jade, but with that white in there. Um, I'm going to say uh, probably uh, adventuring on this one. So we've got adventuring on this one, I believe. That's choice one. Choice number two is howlite. Actually, um, this one is magnesite. Magnesite is choice number two. It's it's a stone, but it's faux turquoise. It's like you know so many grades down from an actual turquoise. Um, choice number three looks like pitcher jasper. That's choice number three. Choice number four. Um, that looks like a red jasper, maybe. Choice number four. Choice number five is a, another kind of jasper, it looks like. More of a dark brown running through it. And then um, that's choice five. Choice six looks like uh, lapis. Now, well, is it lapis or soda white? Let me look at it. Let me, I'm going to get out my um, loop and I'm going to look at this to see if it's lapis or um, soda light. Oh, well, that's got pyrite in it, so that would be lapis. So this is lapis, and this is choice number six. Okay? So let me go through the choices. These are pendants. Uh, the findings are not sterling, but I wanted to point out. This one, I'm going to say adventuring, but it possibly could be jade. That's choice number one. 
choice number two is definitely magnezite, which is a faux uh, turquoise. Choice number three is pitcher jasper. Choice number four looks like a red jasper to me. Choice number five looks like more of a brown jasper. And then choice number six appears to be lapis. You can see the pyrite going through there. So you have six different choices. If anybody's interested, let me know. I just got those. Uh, it's nice to have some stone pendants. Um, if you wanted to, uh, anybody who makes jewelry, you could take all of those and turn it into a lovely bracelet. I mean, that would be fantastic, in my opinion. All right, we're going to go on to a necklace. This one. Got to get them. This is like a multi-chain here. Um, this one, we're going to start out. We're going to start this one out at $5. And this one is not marked. Uh, this is one of those long, um, like, layering necklaces. It's extremely long, at least like 30 inches to the shortest chain. It is double chained. It's got all these fantastic um, black beads on them. They are faceted, so it's going to give you some sparkle in the movement when you move around. Um, and it's it's really done really well. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if, the, if Chico's made this, but I will be honest, there is no maker's mark, so I cannot verify any of that. Uh, but this is a really nice uh, layering piece, if anybody's interested. It is lobster claw. Uh, there is no mark to it, though, unfortunately. But that is that one. I wanted to show it to you. All right. So let's get into some sterling. Let's get into some good stuff. I had some sterling earrings to start off the bat right up here. Here they are. Um, so these sterling earrings, um, we are going to start out. Um, let's start these out at $15. Uh, why not? If you ladies like hoop earrings, you're going to like these. These are some thick sterling silver hoop earrings. They are thick. Take a look at those. Um, they are stamped on the inside. Now, these do have some uh, patina. So I do want to let you guys know that. And there's women that like patina on their jewelry and women that don't. And some, it depends on the you know item and this and that. So I usually, usually... Uh, I usually just leave it as is because of that very reason. I'm trying to look at the mark. Yeah, it is marked. Right there on the inside, guys, it is marked 925. So they are marked. They are really nice. And these are really thick uh, for hoops. Now, they are not heavy. I'm going to weigh them in grams. They only weigh two grams, so they are going to be light in your ear. They're not that heavy. Obviously, there's some weight because, you know, it's it's pretty thick. Like I said, you can see how thick that is. And like I said, there is patina. Um, you know, this is what they look like right there. $15. If you're interested, just let me know. Sterling earrings. Um, Always nice to have some good hoops. Sterling, they'll last you a long time. So I'm going to put those up. Okay. Hmm? Oh, try one on. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Well. <laughs> my phone. Yes, my phone. Oh. <laughs> you 
know, I need to have something underneath my desk that catches everything. Because, you know, it just drops. All right. Yep, I can try one on, no problem. And that way you guys can see, um, you know, what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. So, yeah. All right, so let me uh, put one in my ear. Because, yeah, it does make a difference when you want to see, you know, what it looks like in your ear, what it's going to look like for you. That does make a difference. And here's what it looks like. Um, hopefully, let me get up to the camera a little bit. And um, like I said, believe it or not, guys, these are not heavy. They are not, um, they're not going to weigh your ear down. You heard only two grams. Uh, that was not as heavy as the costume. Uh, so they're not going to, you know, take your ear down to the floor. Uh, so that's good. Uh, they're like a medium, I would say. They're not tiny and they're not large. So like a medium hoop is what I would say on those, probably. So hopefully that helped. That's what they look like uh, straight on, guys. I'll cover up this ear. So that's what that would look like um, when you wear it, like, from a distance. So hopefully that helps. Yeah, I'm with you guys. I mean, sometimes you got to try stuff on to see how it, it's going to, um, you know, kind of, you know, show up on your face, like, is it going to, you know, hang down to your jawline or, you know. Your group has voted maybe here. <laughs> so anyway, that is, I thought these were really neat. I just got them in. And I know a lot of women like hoops uh, because it, it's, you know, it's kind of like when you're in a hurry and you don't have time to really coordinate, get the exact earrings to go with the necklace. But, you know, hoops kind of work like for most anything kind of deal. You know what I'm saying? Like that just kind of goes. Okay, let me put, I gotta put these ones back. Oh. I want to show these. These ones, guys, are going to start out at $5. Oh, these are not um, sterling. I'm going to get into my sterling. You guys got to see these. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You're refreshing. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I have to refresh, too. Uh, you wouldn't believe how many times I refresh. These earrings, guys, take a look at these. Now, these are just costume, but they really remind me of uh, the earrings they make in Turkey. Uh, if you guys do your research online, you will see that Turkey-made earrings look a lot like these. Take a look at this. These have hearts stamped in the metalwork going around the dome. You have this gorgeous blue stone with some rhinestones all around it. Then you've got the rhinestones around. I mean, these, I, I swear, I want to find out if they were made by Turkey. I, I did uh, do some research. We got Rebecca in at five. Thank you, Rebecca. I mean, these are... These are stunning. These are what you would wear to go out, you know, when you're dressed up to go out with your hubby. I, I think, I mean, these are just standout earrings. Uh, when I seen these, like I said, I, I thought to myself, 
these, first of all, the blue stone really does look like a sapphire. Um, I mean, they make this look so real. It, it, I mean, definitely a good dupe. And like I said, it's domed, which is cool. I just love these. We're going to do the countdown. We're going to go once to Rebecca. Yeah, these are some gorgeous. I mean, like I said, um, I wouldn't be surprised if these were made in Turkey. I just wouldn't uh, because that's sort of the design flair that they do. The, the Turkey artisans, they do some just spectacular, I mean spectacular designs in their jewelry. So ornate. See how ornate these are? That's why I said they really look like Turkish earrings to me. I mean, that's what I think anyway. And we are sold. Sold, sold, sold. I'm trying to get the backs just a second, guys, because they're there. Unfortunately, these two I just now realized didn't come with backs, so I'm putting backs on them because who wants to? get some earrings with no backs to them so congratulations hi josie welcome yeah they're gonna look great they really are gonna look great so now i got the backs to them and i am gonna write rebecca's name on those All right. Yep, those are brand new. I just got them in as far as. Uh... All right, let's go back to the sterling. I was saying uh, I did get some. We're going to do some sterling rings, guys. I'm just going to start showing rings uh, that we that we need, um, you know, to get rid of. And uh, we're going to see what you guys think. So let's begin. Okay, this first one is a size eight and a quarter. Um, I am going to start out this ring. I am going to start this out at uh, $28. Oh, that's great, Josie. I was hoping you would get it. That's awesome. Josie got a beautiful ring. She had like a multi gemstone ring with like peridot and amethyst and um, I think citrine was the other color. And yeah, uh, take a look at this one, guys. Now, this one is stunning. We have a stone here. Now, the stone, let's start out with the stone. The stone is purple. Now, it's like a royal purple and it is glass. And they did like, I think it's glass, it appears. And they did like a checkerboard pattern of the faceting on the top. You can see that. This is starting out at $28, guys. This is a size eight and a quarter. It's got a split shank coming up at the top. You got a woven ring around the bezel. This is marquee cut shaped stone, which like I said, it's not a real stone. This is... What I believe is, um, it's cool to the touch. I believe it's probably glass. Now, I am going to show you the back because it is open in the back. Like I said, this is a stunning, like, royal purple color. Um, I did test this. This is definitely sterling. It is marked 925 in the back here. Right back there, it's marked 925, guys. And it was tested. Um, 
and it's a big statement ring. We have Bobby in at 28. Thank you, Bobby. Um, the rings that are coming up, most of them, guys, I am marking down my sterling. So please stay tuned for this segment right now, our sterling, because I am marking it down. I need stuff to go because I've got new stuff coming in. Let's go ahead and counter down. We are going to go once. I mean, take a look at that stone. I mean, it's this is huge. It takes up your whole knuckle all the way down. That's how big this is. But it is stunning. And like I said, even though it's not a real stone, take a look at that royal purple. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. And we are sold. Thank you so much, Bobby. You are going to love that one. You're going to love it. Okay. My next one. This is a lapis stone now this is uh one of my more um expensive ones uh lapis has gone up in price you guys can do your research if you want to but this particular ring um has a ton of sterling and it is very intricate in the detail I charge a little bit more uh but it's trust me the price has come down this is a size eight and three quarters and this one is going to go for 50 but i'm going to tell you how much it's nine grams of sterling and stone nine grams is the weight take a look at this you'll see why it's 50. take a look at this ring guys uh this is very substantial this is a lapis teardrop shaped stone sterling silver ring take a look at that design uh to start out with the bezel the bezel is full of sterling this is a ton of sterling guys most of this is sterling look how high that sits up on your hand it is stunning once again it's got a split shank coming up top there uh teardrop design here i did test it it is sterling. I will show you. The back is open to let the stone breathe, which is what we like when we look at rings. Although there's nothing wrong with the rings that have the back totally closed. We have Bobby in at 50. Thank you, Bobby. I mean, it is spectacular. Take a look at that detail scroll work. I mean, it is amazing. It's amazing. The back. I will tell you where where's the mark. The mark once again is in the back, right back there. There she is, nine two five. Um, but this this is just it's a ton of stone and it's a ton of even more sterling. Let's counter down, Bob. Now you can wear this with the top of the point of the teardrop up like that, or you can wear it down whatever is your preference i used to wear this ring a lot bob seen me wear it i used to wear it in my shows a lot and then i thought well i'm gonna go ahead and sell it it's it's just gorgeous that lapis yeah it is stunning if you like blue lapis is one of those stones now there's lapis lazuli which that stone is a deeper blue and it's more of a royal blue color rather than the regular lapis so we are sold thank you so much bobby you are gonna love that ring congratulations all right um i have some other rings here. Uh, let's go ahead and show those.
This one is size nine and a quarter. This one, yes, it is a beauty. It is, Bobby. Just wait till you get a hold of it. I, I've been wearing it from time to time. And I'm telling you what, I never got sick of looking at that ring. This is nine and a quarter, guys. This is Rainbow Moonstone. And I am starting this out at the low price of $35. And that is a low price when you look at how big this stone is. This is nothing but Rainbow Moonstone. Uh, it is a hunk of hunk on this one. Um, it is fully faceted. It's like checkerboard pattern faceted. Once again, you don't see the checkerboard faceting on a whole lot of stones. I am going to weigh it. It is five grams in total weight. It is a lightweight. It looks heavy, but it is not. We are starting at 35 on this. Rainbow Moonstone. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, if I'm getting a glare. There, does that help to put my hand there? Nine and a quarter. This is a big daddy of a ring. Now, I want to show you something special. Take a look at the band on this. It is hammered, which I totally am digging. You're interested in the earrings, the last one you showed. Okay. Um, did you want the sterling earrings, Dora? Or, okay, were you uh, talking about the uh, faux druzy looking um, earrings, Dora? Or were you talking about the sterling? Let me get. Want to get the ones I Oh, I have them right up here. Did you mean <laughs> um, did you mean the sterling hoops, Dora, or did you mean the like druzy uh, looking uh, like aquamarine colored? I believe I think I can't remember which one I showed last, but I'll take them out. Uh, these were the like aquamarine colored druzy looking ones. And then I had the sterling ones um, at $15. Uh, so you just let me know which ones you were interested in. And I will, um, I will show whichever one you were interested in. I want to make sure I get the right ones, Dora, because, oh, the Victorian, I forgot about those. Oh, my heavens. Bob, can you believe I forgot about them once sold, I believe. Did they not, or did they? They were the, did they sell? I know what one. Oh, here they are. They didn't sell. Uh, they didn't sell. They're right here. Yes. Would you like those, Dora? I've got them right here. If you would like those, I will write those down for you, Dora. So, um,
Yeah, these are beautiful, Dora. So if these, I, I just, I'm pretty sure these were the ones that you were talking about. I will write you down for these, okay? Let me go ahead and make a tag for you. And thank you so much, Dora. And Dora, if I could get your info, um, my email is right there, trbl5. Yeah, these ones, Dora, these ones are a little heavy. They're not mega heavy, but they are, they have a little bit of weight to them. Yes, I will write you down for these. Um, if you could, like I said, give me your info at trbl5 at yahoo.com. Um, then I'll go ahead. Like I said, tomorrow is when I invoice and um, I've got you down for these. Yeah, these are gorgeous. I mean, they are stunners. Okay, thank you, Dora. Thank you so much. They are. They're just beautiful. I got you down, and you are tagged for that one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. I still have this. Um, yes, I, I've seen Dora uh, quite a bit in uh, Patsy's and uh, other people's channels. Um, yeah, she's she's great. Dora is great. And I'm so happy to have all of you here. Thank you so much. Um, this is nine and a quarter. Like I said, very thin band. Um, this is one of my brand new rings. So if you're interested, let me know, guys. It's a stunning, you know, I, I don't really need to talk about how stunning, you know, Rainbow Moonstone is. I think it's one of those stones. It's universally, you know, loved. By many women and men. Um, you know, Makeup Zombie, her um, boyfriend. Um, oh, I want to say his name is Jose, Carlos. Carlos has a moonstone ring. And I'm telling you what, his hands are so beautiful. That moonstone ring on, on his hand Carlos's hand is so beautiful. He wears it every day. It looks amazing on him. Yeah, it was a pretty one. It really was. All right, guys, I have another sterling ring. This one is a size seven and three quarters. And I am... Guys, I am going to start this out at just $30. $30. This is another lapis ring. However, this is a size. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is not eight and three quarters. Let me. It's size seven and three quarters. I don't want you guys to get mistaken. I'm so sorry about that. And this is starting out at 30. Let me remove the eight and three quarters because I don't want you guys to get mixed up. This ring is size seven and three quarters. I have marked it down. This is a lapis. Uh, you can see the pyrite right there in the stone. This is a cabochon uh, format on this ring. Split shank, just a little bit, just enough to give it some pizzazz. It's a medium thickness on that band. Now, um, this one is marked 925. Ooh, that one came close to going on the floor. <laughs> but I stopped it with my chest. Okay, 925 right there, guys. Now, case in point, this one. This one is totally encased in silver. Um, but, you know, that doesn't take away from the beauty of the stone. Like I said, this is lapis. You can see the pyrite inside the stone. $30 is all it takes for this ring. It is very beautiful. It's a big ring. Um, I'll put it on my pinky. That's a big stone. You know, from me to you, there's quite a distance. This is a big stone. 
And so there's that one if anybody's interested. Seven and three quarters on that size ring. We're going to go on to the next. Um, I've got a size seven and three quarters again, but this is a different ring. Uh, I am going to start this one out. We're going to start this one out, guys. I'm reducing the price on this, okay? I need some things to go. I am marking this down to $25 starting point. Um, this is bid style, but I had this, um, I think I had this like $35. i am marking it down to $25. I need it to go. Uh, what you have here is a green stone. It's called a chrome diopside chrome diopside is usually mistaken uh for like a uh green onyx or a serpentine stone but this is a chrome diopside look at that green oh my gosh if you are a green lover this is the ring for you 25 dollars, guys that's all it takes now i'm gonna weigh it in grams this one is three grams so it's not that heavy, but take a look at that band. This is a large thickness on that band. It is open, and you can see right through that stone. I mean, it is gorgeous. Basically, it's a dark, dark peridot. It's the same color as a peridot, but 10 times deeper. And this is called chrome diopside. Look how gorgeous that green is. $25, guys, with all that sterling, it is marked, it is tested, and it is beautiful. And if you would like to take it home, you just put 25 in the chat, and uh, that's what gets it started. We're going to go on to the next. Um, let's see. I'm going to do a um, liquid silver necklace. I've had this for a while also. We're going to mark it down. I need to mark it down so it will sell quickly. Um, but don't miss out on this one, guys. I am going to uh, start this one out at $28. And, guys, that's a heck of a deal for liquid silver, but I need it to go. I've had it in my collection for a very long time, and I'm just marking prices down on my sterling. So if you were ever interested in some of my sterling, tonight is the night to purchase. This one starts at $28. It is a beautiful liquid silver necklace. It has rose quartz right there in it, along with all that gorgeous silver. Um, I love rose quartz. I want you to take a look at the back. We got the standard barrel clasp. Now, I'm going to weigh it, and then I'm going to measure it. The weight on this is 8 grams. Um, it's got a lot of beads on this one. Now, it is a uh, smaller necklace. However, it is gorgeous, and uh, it would just look stunning. Those of you that like your pink, yeah, this, this is the perfect one. This is 16 inches. So that's, uh, usually I will say, guys, that is very standard for liquid silver. It's rare if you find it um, like 20 on up as far as uh, length. Usually it's anywhere from 14 to 18 inches. And it's even hard to get it to 18 inches. Liquid silver, uh, they've been making it for years. and. Back in the day when they used to make it, um, you know, I don't know. The necks must have been smaller back then. I'm not real sure. Uh, but they were always dainty. Always. Uh, this one is vintage, of course. It is 16 inches. Um, I love the ones I can get a hold of that are longer. But uh, this one, I mean, $28. You can't go wrong with liquid silver starting at $28. It's a great deal. We're going to move on, though, guys. I'm not going to stay too long on one thing. Like I said, I'm marking my silver down. It needs to go. It can't stay here. <laughs> can't stay here. All right. 
I have another ring. This one is a size eight and a half. I am marking this one da down as well, guys. It needs to go. It is a gorgeous stone. We're going to start this out at $30, guys. This is for sterling and stone. Okay. This is a ring. I love this ring. This is the Montana agate. Um, this is one of those scenic stones. Take a look at that one, guys. Uh, this reminds you of the desert. That's why they call it Montana agate. It reminds you of that Montana uh, desert area. Uh, you got your gorgeous browns and creams in this stone. It's a beautiful banded agate in the brown tones. I love it. Once again, it's got the teardrop shape cut. You've got the split shank. You've got a large size band. I'm going to weigh this. This one weighs five grams. So that's a very good amount of uh, sterling there. Um, this one is marked 925. It is also tested. Size eight and a half. Starting at 30. Take a look at how big this stone is. Now you can see it from a distance, right? Uh, you know, um, that chrome diopside, honestly, was the smaller of all the stones. Uh, all these guys are pretty big. They're going to take up most of your knuckle. Uh, but I love that one. Like I said, marking it down. I just need stuff to go. So we're just marking it down and trying to, you know, move it all on out. Let's do a smaller size ring. Um, I'm actually, this is size, let me size five and a quarter. Um, I am going to start this one out, guys, at $25. I'm marking it down. Uh, once again, I need it to go. This, this is such a beautiful stone. Take a look at this one, guys. The stone is called red silimonite. Red silimonite. Uh, not to be mistaken for rhodochrosite or rhodonite. That is not what this stone is. Um, now, rhodochrosite, as you guys know, is a pink stone that is mixed with the white marbling. Rhodonite is a hot pink stone that is mixed with the black marbling. And this is a red silimonite. It's more of a fuchsia colored pink. You have three stones here done right in a, like a bilateral pattern there. Uh, cabochon style. Look at the thickness on the bezels. I mean, this is a lot of silver. I'm going to weigh it. This is four grams. It's a gorgeous ring but I have to mark it down. I need it to go. I've had it for so, so long. Now, red silimonite is not a ring that you're gonna see every day. This is one of those rings that you're gonna be lucky if you see it on all the other jewelry, um, you know, channels, because it's not one that you're gonna see. It really just is not. Um, it is that dark, uh, hot pink, but it's more like a, maroonish hot pink therefore it's it's more like a a fuchsia ring really uh to me it's fuchsia but that is a stunner if anybody's interested you let me know a uh, gorgeous ring like i said starting at 25 i'm just marking this stuff down guys i need it to go all right let's go back let's show um some costume i'm not gonna do all sterling we're gonna bop back and forth okay uh, these ones, we're going to start out at a dollar. We're going to go back to a couple. Oh, these ones are pretty, guys. Take a look at these. These are beautiful, beautiful uh, pinky purple earrings. Uh, we're starting at a dollar, guys. That's it. Uh, teardrop shape, gold tone. These are um, starting at a dollar. Yeah, they are. They're like a deep, deep... Um, Fuchsia, really. Kind of like that red silimonite. Hmm? <laughs> we 
we have Rebecca in at one. Yeah, these, man, this is what it looks like in the back. I mean, these are going to sparkle all over the place. That's what these are going to do. Let's go ahead and counter down, Bob. We're going to go once. If anybody wants to jump in, feel free to jump in. This is an auction. Um, like I said, I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to mark down my sterling, but I'm also going to continue to show you costume. That's what it's about, guys. Bob's going to finish counting you down. Yeah, these, it's a beautiful color. It just, it definitely, all eyes are going to be drawn to your ears, I think. And we are sold. Congratulations, Rebecca. I think for sure. I mean, the people are going to look right at your ears when you wear those. I mean, my personal opinion, I think they will. They sparkle so much. You know? Thank you, thank you. All right. So. Um, oh, let me show you these costume earrings. We're going to start at a dollar also. Um, these are longer, but these are really nice. Take a look at these, guys. These are mint green. Um, they are acrylic. Uh, gold tone dangle earrings. These are awesome. They have the French hooks. They are longer. Uh, these are going to go past your jawline, uh, but they don't touch. Let's see. They don't quite touch your um, shoulder. So they're almost shoulder dusters, but not quite. And um, they are faceted on the stones. There's three stones starting at a dollar, guys. Um, really nice. I just put them on cardstock so they're a little bit easier to handle. But uh, these are for you ladies that like a little bit longer earring from time to time. I'm wearing longer ones today, and I love them. So if anybody's interested, you let me know. Beautiful. We're going to move on. So I, I'm going to do stuff in everybody's price range. You know, I don't want to do all sterling where, you know, that's not in everybody's price range. And I'm going to do costume, which some people are looking only for sterling. Some people are looking only for costume. So we're going to do some of each. Okay, guys, I have three cloys. Oh, stutter wire. I'm sorry. Uh, let me, those are the shepherd books. Um, did I get there? They are right in front of my face. <laughs> Uh, these are the shepherd hooks, um, Bobby. So these are the wire, the shepherd hooks wire earring. This one's twisted. Just a minute. There we go. So that's what they are. They got the uh, clear uh, rubber backs on them. So we got Bobby in at a dollar. Thank you, Bobby. Let's go ahead and counter down, Bob, since I didn't see any other interest. We're going to go once to Bobby. Yeah, these are, they're just beautiful. They really are. And you know what's great about dangles? They look good whether you have long hair or short hair. Honestly, they do. I think, my my opinion, I think it doesn't matter, you know, what style of hair you have. I think they look good with both. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you so much. All right. Let's do some bracelets, and then I'm going to go back into some sterling. 
Um, I will be showing some hard goods here soon, guys. Uh, let's do let's do another choice of Bob. Okay, guys, I've got five different bracelets now. Really, really pay attention to your five different choices, okay? They're all random. They're all leather or fake leather, okay? Um, Bob, we're going to start these out at $4. Okay, we're going to start them out at 4 And the person who bids the highest, of course, gets your choice of which bracelet you want. Like I said, please pay attention. Some of these may be genuine leather. And some of these might be vegan. I'm going to show them all at the same time, however. Uh, but you've got to just be watching, okay? So here we go. Choice number one. Um, this one. Uh, I did clean all these, by the way. Um, I'm going to say that these are faux leather. Okay, I'm just not sure, but I'm just going to say faux leather for the sake of it, okay? So what we have here is this faux leather Shambhala style bracelet. Shambhala meaning that you um, adjust this and you can, um, you know, tighten it or close it, um, tighten it or open it uh, to what size you want. The cross, as you can tell, it's carved in here. That's a piece of coconut shell, which is so awesome. Now, this would be a great man's bracelet. I'm telling you, this would look so good on a man. However, it's unisex, so it would look good on a woman too. Okay, the cross is choice number one. Choice number two is a wrap bracelet. In my mind, this looks like genuine leather. So the first one did not look like genuine leather. This one does. Now, this is a wrap. You've got your choice of two different settings. And literally, it's a wrap bracelet. So you wrap it around, and then you fasten it like such. Okay? It kind of crisscrosses. So. That's choice number two is the wrap. And it's got all the rhinestones. And you've got two different settings. So that's choice number two is the wrap. Choice number three is a red bracelet. And this is the reds, uh, Cincinnati reds to be exact. That's the, the baseball team, right? I used to know a lot more about baseball, guys, because. My team was the Detroit Tigers. You guys that know me know I came from Michigan. I'm here in Indiana now. I miss my home state of Michigan. It's a beautiful state. Uh, so I always voted for, was rooting for the Tigers. But they played against the Cincinnati Reds before, and that's what this bracelet is. Um, I would say, once again, a faux leather and you do have two choices of, um, wait, that's, that first one, yeah, the first one is not one. You just got one choice of setting there. That's uh, choice number three is the Cincinnati Reds. Um, choice number four is this brown um, thick bracelet. Um, it looks pretty much like a watch band. That's how they made this particular bracelet. Um, I will say that this appears that it could be leather, actual leather. They put a gold tone link um, band right across there. That's choice number four. And then choice number five, this is my absolute fave. I can't believe this isn't marked. I would definitely say this has got to be genuine leather. Take a look at this, guys. You got your black woven leather bracelet. And then you get down here and you've got a rhinestone um, rondelle. You've got the um, 
silver tone spacer bead. This is what it looks like. It is toggle. I mean, this is nice. You've got the little screw right there. I mean, the hardware on this is nice. It is gorgeous. And I would say that this is most likely real leather. So the black leather is choice number five. So there's choice number five. Choice number four is the gold tone link. Choice number three is the Cincinnati red. Choice number two is the wrap. And choice number one is the coconut shell cross. That could be unisex. I really honestly think that it would look the best on a man, my personal opinion. So, but that's just my opinion. There's your choices. If anybody's interested, please let me know. We're going to move on. And like I said, I did clean these uh, bracelets as well. So, um, you know, not all my jewelry is clean. I will admit I did not clean all of my jewelry in all of my drawers, but I clean most of it. Um, there's no way possible I could clean all of it as some of them are new on, on the tags and things like that. So I don't clean every single piece, but I clean most of it. And I think it's important uh, for you folks, especially during this time in the world. So I do clean the jewelry. So we're going to move on. Now. I have some cloisonne pendants that are out of this world. The first set we're going to do a choice of. I'm going to save the big daddy for, for later, for after. Now, ugh, I am so tempted to keep. There's two of these I want to keep so bad, but I'm going to sell them. I'm going to sell them, but it's going to be hard. All right. So we are going to do a choice of. And we are going to start out at $18. And the reason why is because of how big these pendants are. They are huge, huge, huge. And I did not test them. There is a likelihood they could have sterling findings. I'm just not sure. Starting at 18, yes. And then I'm going to do the second one, which is bigger. And it's going to be a different price point after. Take a look at these guys. Oh, get ready. The first one is this gorgeous, gorgeous green cloisonne pendant. It's got a, um, I want to call that an iris. It looks like an iris to me. And it's done so beautifully. Look how thick that is. It's got gold tone all the way around it. It's on both sides. Now you've got a big, thick bale. I'm taking a look at this bale right now, and I'm here to tell you it could be sterling. I'm going to go ahead and test it because either way, I'm not changing the price. It's, it's going to be eight, starting out at 18. And if it's sterling, hey, bonus to you guys, you know? Uh, it looks like sterling from here, but I could be wrong. So we're just going to test it right now. And we're going to see if it's sterling. Either way, it's gorgeous, and it really doesn't matter. Just for the cloisonne alone, this thing is big. I am going to measure it, too, just so you guys know. Um, no, it is not sterling. So it is not sterling, but if once you get it, you'll see what I mean. It looks like it could be sterling. Take a look at how big this is. It takes up my whole hand, okay? I'm going to measure this one, okay? And then I'm going to show you the second one, which the second one is my absolute favorite out of the two. Okay, just the pendant alone without the bail is two inches. Then when you add the bail as far as length, you're talking two and a half inches. So that is a huge, huge. End it. That's choice number one is the green. Not to be outdone. Take a look at this one. Oh my gosh. This is choice number two, guys. Take a look at this. Oh my heavens. 
we have this gorgeous butterfly over top of the beautiful flower. I mean, stunning is not even the right word for this one. Uh, I, but I'm a lover of poison A. Not everybody is uh, to each their own. Let me try to, there we go. Take a look at that. You've got all these beautiful pinks and reds in the butterfly and the flower. The leaves are nice and green, right on this white enamel. Ah, oh, stunning. Now, the detail work on this is amazing. It's a lot of detail work on those wings on that butterfly. Now, I'm going to measure this one as well. Just for the pendant. The pendant is, um, mm, it's like one and a quarter inches, or one and three quarters, I'm sorry, one and three quarters inches long, and then with the bale included, it is two and a half. Uh, yeah, butterflies on anything, I mean, yeah, just gorgeous. So, you have the iris with the green, and then you have the butterfly with the flower. These are your two choices for 18. Now, we are going to go, and I'm going to show you an even bigger one. Uh, this one, guys, I have to ask $30 for. Uh, this is way bigger. Uh, it, there's more detail in this thing. It is stunning. Take a look at this pendant, guys. This is a cloisonne pendant. It's done in black. It's got a um, bird that uh, looks like he's singing on top of a bed of flowers. And then at the bottom, there's another bird that looks like it's singing as well on the branch. The two blue um, ones are birds. That one on the bottom and the one up here. They're birds. And then in the middle is um, like a bouquet of flowers. I mean, it is stunning. And the, the work is also on the back. This thing is fat. Take a look at this. This is even thicker than the last two pendants. Now, like I said, I have to ask 30 for this one. Um, it is much, much bigger. This one is about one and three quarters as well as far as length if you add on the bale it is about two and a quarter inches thickness though i'm gonna wait in grams i want you guys to know how this one is 32 grams i mean it's a plumper look at that I have never seen a cloisonne pendant with this much detail and this big. The bale on this um, is just a spring ring on this one, Bobby. Let me let me try to do it this way. That is the bale, Bobby. It's a spring ring. Now, I will tell you, you are going to want, it's big for a reason. You are going to have to have a thick chain for as heavy as this pendant is. This one, I mean, they weren't playing around. This one is heavy. Like I said, what did I say? 32 grams. Now, I'm going to weigh the other two. The butterfly is 27 grams. And the iris is... 38 grams. So this one, although it's not as thick as this one, this one is heavy. It's heavier than the black one. Uh, I mean, these are stunning. Um, I have never seen cloisonne pendants this big before, not in my lifetime. Uh, but these are gorgeous. A lot of detail goes into these. Uh, the black one is just amazing all that detail so if anybody's interested please let me know I, I was so excited when i um purchased this protect particular um 
box of items. I um, I seen the cloisonne in there, and I had to have it um, because I thought it was so amazing. I had never seen cloisonne that big, um, and and it's just yeah, it's just stunning. It just is. So I had to get it. You know, I couldn't pass up that deal. Um, the box was really a great box. Just really great. You are welcome. So we're going to move on. Um, I have shown this one before. Uh, this is another one that, uh, this is very substantial. And um, this is another one that I am going to try to sell again so um this particular piece uh let's show it on this board this one is so heavy but it's so beautiful um I am going to start this one out, guys. We're going to start it out at $28. $28 now, guys. I'm going to explain what the stones are, okay? The big, huge, huge pink stones on these are cherry quartz. You can see how big these stones are. I mean, they are huge. These are some of the biggest cherry quartz I have ever, ever seen. Uh, they are checkerboard faceted. So you're going to get all that shine. You guys can see that shine. Then you've got uh, glass beads beside it. Uh, these are smoky colored glass beads. Uh, they're supposed to represent like a smoky quartz, um, but they are glass uh, as far as what it looks like to me. Um, you do have another stone right here, this little, uh, butterscotch one. Um, that stone right there, um, is, I'm seeing banding in it. Um, trying to see if it's a banded agate. Um, quite possibly a banded agate, guys. I'll show you the banding. It's not a tiger's eye. Um, I'm not sure about that stone. Okay, guys. Uh, but there's the smallest cherry quartz. You've got some seed beads, but see how big these are. Now I'm going to tell you, get ready for how much this one weighs. This necklace weighs 171 grams. And most of it is that cherry quartz because these suckers are heavy. Now, starting out at $28 for all that stone is a really great deal. I don't want you to miss out. Uh, so if anybody wants to start out the bid, we are starting out at $28. This is for Cherry Quartz, guys. You do see Cherry Quartz from time to time. It's not a rare stone. Oh, it's good to have you. You're heading out now. Thank you so much, Bobby, for spending time with us. Thank you for your purchases. And uh, I loved having you. Loved seeing you again. And uh, Happy New Year, Bobby. So there's that one, guys. Uh, so we're going to put that one up. That's one of my stone pieces that I've had for a while, but I'm marking it down. Uh, I just need it to go. But it's substantial. So, all right. Let's, um, I'm going to switch. We're going to stop the jewelry just for a second, guys. I'm going to do a couple other things real quick. Let me refresh my phone. That'll be the first thing I do. Uh, videos. Go back to my video. Okay. I'm going to do a buy it now. This is going to be a choice of. It's a buy it now. Um, let's just do these for $8 a piece, guys. I, I'm just marking it down as low as I can go, guys, but I need them to go. $8 a piece. It is for either a lotion 
or a uh, shower gel. And they are both in the set A Thousand Wishes, okay? The shower gel is 10 ounces. Once again, it's called A Thousand Wishes. And the lotion is the same set. It is the 24-hour moisture body lotion. It is 8 ounces. $8 a piece. Buy it now. You say want lotion or want shower gel. Whichever you want, $8. Uh, you guys know how much Bath and Body Works probably goes for. Around my part over in here, they're $13.50 each. But I'm not going to make you pay $13.50 each for either one of these. $8. And that's all it takes. And you can take it home with you. It's a buy it now. Okay. I have another buy it now. Um, this is one I've only shown one other time. I'm going to do this for eight bucks as well. Let's just keep the $8 train going for right now. Uh, this is the McCallie eight inch super long adjustable cup holder mounted cell phone holder. Okay. You put it right down in your cup holder. It mounts right there, and it is adjustable. You can move the top of the head, and it is $8. You just say want in the chat. Uh, a lot of people need a phone holder these days. Uh, Bob, we have a magnet on our phones. I'll show you. That black piece right there is a magnet, and we have the uh, magnet phone holder, and I love it. Uh, so we have this one, and we need to get rid of it. So $8, buy it now if you're interested, okay? So there is that. Let's see. I am going to go get some more things. I have a few new items I'm going to show you right, right now. New items that I just picked up. I can't wait till you guys see them. Uh, they are awesome. So let me get a drink of water and I'll go get them. Okay, well, he's getting the new items taken care of for me. I'm going to show you ones that I have uh, shown before. I'll bring in the new items here in a minute. Um, but he's going to do that for me. So, All right. I'm going to show you uh, this box first before we get into the new items. Um, I am going to start this one out at uh, $10. And this is a hand carved box made out of wood. Very ornate. It's got your flowers. Uh, the middle of it, I'm trying to look at what design the middle. Um, I'm not real sure what the middle is supposed to depict at all uh maybe some of you could help me i do know the border is the flowers i just i'm not sure about that middle design but here's the side profile here's the end side right there here's the back so it's all carved a lot of detail you just lift up on the lock 
and it's got the red felt inside. It does have the four feet uh, made out of wood and um, there is no uh, writing on the bottom or on the inside, but this one is starting out at $10 if anyone's interested. Like I said, it is hand carved, very different, very ornate if anybody's interested. Uh, the second one is a lamp that uh, Bob made, and uh, it's just beautiful. I love this one. Uh, $30. Uh, we're going to do a buy it now. I know I put starting bid. We'll just do a buy it now. If you want this lamp, say want. It is an old uh, wine bottle that he put um, the lights inside. You've got the cork on the top. Um, I've got my uh, handy dandy electric cord here. So it does light up. I, I do want to point that out because um, it's a new cord and all that. So if anybody's interested, $30, he drilled through the glass and all that stuff to make up that lamp really really pretty uh that type of lamp guys i like to use that lamp um at night to give that ambiance that low light ambiance uh it would look perfect in the kitchen uh to light at night that being like your only light at night like when you're sitting on the couch watching tv and you just want to go into the kitchen for a snack that type of ambiance I, I just think it's gorgeous or even in your living room um, I, I just think that kind of lighting at night is perfect don't you uh, my next one is going to start out at $18 uh, this is a um, four a deep four cleanser um, machine it's by Hollywood expressions and it's this little machine, uh, battery operated. It's got four different heads to it. It's got two small ones that are gentle for everyday use. It's got a large one, perfect for blackheads. And then it's got an oval one that's uh, for corners of the nose and mouth. Uh, so that comes in handy. That's my Cleopatra walking through. And it is by Hollywood Expressions. New in the box, never been used, of course. Uh, so that is that one. Okay, so here comes my new items, guys. And um, I hope you like them. Uh, this one is a uh, ring holder. It's a unicorn ring holder. It says the dish accessory organizer by Groovy Beauty. Um, it is taped. I'm going to untape it, guys. So obviously it's brand new. It's still uh, sealed. But I, I want to show it to you. So it's this beautiful uh, porcelain plate that has the unicorn. Um, let's start this out at $9. $9, guys. I know normally these go for like $15 or whatever. I'm going to start it out at $9. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, ring holder. Or, you know, you could put your little earrings or whatnots in there. You could you know, put your bracelets over it. I just thought it was really, really cute. And uh, that's the bottom, obviously brand new. If anybody's interested, let me know. And then, okay, guys, I am gonna do these each at one time. I'm not even gonna do choice of, uh, oh man. 
when I seen these, I thought, oh my heavens, I have to have these. These are going to start out, guys. We're going to start these out at $18. And oh man, these are awesome. Get ready, get ready, get ready. The first set, this is a three piece set. You guys ready? I have Winnie the Pooh, um, oven mitt, and two kitchen towel sets. Winnie the Pooh, there's little piglet, my favorite day. Uh, it says, busy doing nothing. Um, it says, uh, silly old bear right there. These are all uh, sayings that are in their cartoons. Oh, my heavens. So awesome. Three-piece kitchen set by Disney. Okay, guys? One oven mitt and two kitchen towels. Winnie the Pooh, brand new. Hi, Autumn. These sets are starting at $18, guys. This is Winnie the Pooh. Now I got a second one. It's coming at you. Okay, the second one is also going to start out at 18. I hope you're ready. Look at the cuteness, guys. We have Snoopy in Woodstock. Says, ha, ha, ha. Look how cute. The Peanuts characters, guys. Look, it's cute. Snoopy in Woodstock. This is a three-piece set. Once again, starting at 18. Right there, guys. 100% cotton. You get two kitchen towels and the oven mitt. So, we have Winnie the Pooh. And we have Snoopy and Woodstock. Are they not the cutest in the world? Autumn, I knew you would love it. I knew it. I just picked these up. They're so darn cute. Winnie the Pooh is looking up... Uh, like he's in England at the castle. What is that? The Windsor Castle? I don't know. I don't know. But he's looking at the, the clock tower. Oh, these are cute. Winnie the Pooh and Snoopy and Woodstock. I mean, can you go wrong? No, you can't. Not with these guys. $18, guys. And you get three pieces. Let me know if you're interested. I knew I would get you with that one. <laughs> Autumn loves Snoopy. Uh, I, Autumn, you came in right, literally right when I was showing them. It's so hilarious. <laughs> oh, Autumn. Ah, uh, you kill me. So if anybody wants any of those new items, let me know. The next item is a four-piece set. I just picked these up as well. These are starting out at $15. I know. I know, Autumn had no idea, guys, but she came in right at the right time. It's hilarious. <laughs> this is starting out at 15. Guys, Valentine's Day is coming up. And what better way to uh, serve your dessert uh, to your family than these beautiful pink shimmery glass heart plates. Oh, these are gorgeous. Brand new. It is by the company um ak cam they were made in turkey it says in a world in a world intensely directed to mass production handmade process is the real luxury um each product is produced uniquely by turkish masters combining traditional and modern techniques in order to preserve the brilliance, the clarity and intensity of the decoration, we suggest you hand wash only. So these were made by Turkish artists one by one, each of these plates. Um, and they were made with their uh, different machinery that they've um, you know, had forever. Uh, these are drop dead gorgeous. That pale pink, they're textured on the back, the glass front. I mean, these are gorgeous. $15. You get four of them. They're kind of wavy. I love them. Let me know if you're interested. Like I said, 
Valentine's Day. I know we just got through with Christmas and New Year's and the second Christmas was over, literally the second you went into a store, into Walmart and boom, you are hit with all the um, Valentine's Day stuff. I'm like, where, what? We just, we just got through with one holiday and you're going right into the next. I don't know. So there's that. Um, now that I have everybody in the chat once again, we're going to do our second giveaway, folks. Okay. This time I'm going to do some rather unique gifts. Okay. So I am going to do, we're going to do, um, We're just gonna do, yeah, I've just grabbed a few things and uh, these are gonna be your choices. You're gonna actually have some choices, guys, of what item you want, okay? So, um, I will show you the choices. I will show the winner. Whoever wins, um, I will show. So, um, um, so let me uh, do, we're going to do a laugh of the law, guys. You know, I love my laugh of the laws because we need a laugh. Okay, right. I think I've done that one before. Or at least it sounds familiar. All three of those cards had to do with the American flag. Pretty wild. Okay, guys. I think I've had this one before, but we're going to do it again. Um, I am going to give you a subject matter, and I need you to give me one answer and one answer only and put it in the chat, please. Okay, the subject matter tonight for this giveaway is insects. I need you to give me the name of one insect, please. Down in the chat right now, everybody is welcome uh, to be included in this giveaway. There is no purchase necessary. My giveaways are all mine, and they are not affiliated with YouTube. If no one guesses the correct insect, then I will switch over and we will do the number game. Everybody, give me the name of an insect. Quick, quick, quick. Okay? Okay, Bob, where's that uh, paper? I was going to write down on it. That envelope. Write down. Thank you all. Hi, Barbara, again. I, I just want to thank you all for being here. Um, I just can't thank you enough. And please hit that thumbs up uh, so that this video will be seen. And um, we're not going to go um, too, too long um, past now. Um, so please invite your friends over Facebook if you could and uh, get them to come. And maybe we can pack out the house. Um, I just thank you guys for being here and supporting me. So we are going to hit stop in the chat. And like I said, if no one guesses it, we're just going to do the number game. That's 
best way to do it. All right, guys, I am going to read the, um, the card. Okay, here we go. In the state of Connecticut, it is a crime to entice bees away from their rightful owner. That's right, guys. Uh, don't, uh, you know, don't get a bunch of flowers and put them all over your porch and get them to come. I don't know. I, I mean, you're enticing them, I don't know, on your property. I, I'm sure you're not enticing them into your house. Um, somehow, this was a law. Somebody made it a law. <laughs> Somebody got caught for luring uh, bees somewhere. Um, yeah, there's some weird people out there in this world. I don't understand it. Uh, I thought I seen the bees. It is Christine. Is that who it is? Christine, you are the winner. So I am going to have you choose between these uh, objects. Some of them are odd. Some of them are whatever. Uh, so you get to choose. Okay. So here we go. Choice number one is the Garnier uh, Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. The all-in-one, this is the waterproof one. So you get this little uh, sample bottle. This is choice number one, is the micellar water. Choice number two, this is cool. This is a shoe clip, and it's a lion. It's the lion. And it's a shoe clip. Now, you don't have to use it as a shoe clip. You could use it as a pendant if you wanted to. That's choice two. Uh, Dora, did you put TRBL5 at yahoo.com? It's all lowercase. You didn't put the number one, did you? It's uh, TRBL. Um, but yeah, you could put, uh, you could put your, uh, email in Dora and I will email you and then uh, you'll have to give me the rest of your info okay huh I that's weird sometimes it, there's glitches in the emails and you're just like wow you know what I mean uh, choice number three are these um, hoop earrings they are gold tone and they're like braided and they're hoops. And then choice number four is this keychain, uh, key ring. It is the Ann Klein Lion. And it's a little key ring. So those are your choices. I mean, you gotta get down. Go over there. Blend Ard Z seventy at Gmail. Okay, uh, Dora, let me make sure I'm saying this correctly. Is it L I N D A R D Z seven zero at Gmail dot com? Okay, Christine. So it's Lindard Lindard with a Z at the end, 70 at gmail.com. I want to make sure I'm, I'm, and then I'll just email you. Uh, Blandine, what choices would you like? I have the micellar water, the Garnier. Um, I have the uh, Lion shoe clip. I have the gold tone uh, hoops, 
or I have the Ancline key ring. So, uh, Blandy, those are your choices. Yes, okay. Okay, I got you, Dora, and I will email you, and then we'll get the rest of the info. Thank you so much, Dora. And I'm sorry, it, it must have glitched out. I'm so sorry. All, thank you so much. Okay, Blandine, I'm going to send them all to you. <laughs> Blandine, if you want them all, I'll send them all to you. You know I will. You want the water? Blandine, do you want all of them? I'll send them all to you. You can have them, honest to goodness. If you want all four, I'll send them to you. All righty. Congratulations, Blandine. And Christine, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. I, I tell you what, guys, it never ceases to amaze me how kind you all are. You're all so kind and giving. <laughs> you don't want all of them? Are you sure? Because you know I'd give them to you. <laughs> Congratulations, Blandine. No problem. No problem, Dora. We'll get that all worked out. No problem. Oh, Blandine, you kill me. Okay. Congratulations. We're going to move on. Uh, I am going to offer these gold tone earrings. We're going to start these out at three. Uh, I do want to point out on these earrings, there is a little bit of weight to these earrings. They are a little bit weighty. Um, I need you to know that before you purchase because I don't want you to be unsatisfied with it. Um, once again, they're not so heavy that they, you know, are going to rip through your ears. However, they are weighty. I'm going to weigh them for you. They are 14 grams together, meaning they are 7 grams each. So there is some weight. Uh, they do dangle down just a touch like that. Yes, you could. You could hook, you could attach this to a purse. That's another idea. Like I said, um, now, it's got teeth right there in the back, right on this part. Uh, you could do that. Um, you could actually make it into a pendant. So you could do that. You could make this little key ring into a pendant also. It's the Anne Klein line. You could easily do that. Uh, these are $3 if anybody's interested on the earrings. So I'm going to put those up. But if anybody's interested, 3 bucks, and the earrings are yours. All right. Let's move along. These next earrings, I'm going to start out at a dollar. Uh, I'm back to the costume again. Um, let's just start out at a dollar. These are heart earrings, and they're so cute. They really are. Um, they're these, um, like, uh, metal hearts, and it's almost like they use, like, green chalk paint almost. And they've got the copper hooks. These are starting at a dollar. They're so cute. Starting at a dollar, if anybody's interested, uh, metal. These are metal earrings. Yes, Dora, that's an awesome idea. This would look awesome on a scarf. That is another idea. You guys are coming up with great ideas. Oh, my word. You guys are awesome. Seriously, a purse, a shoe, a scarf. You could use this as a pendant. Uh, you could attach it to, like, your um, 
one of your acrylic uh, makeup organizers, you know, just from for some pizzazz. Um, you could attach it to a mirror, like the top of a mirror. Uh, man, endless ideas on this one, guys. Uh, these are starting at a dollar if anybody's interested. These little earrings, uh, they're dangles. Let me know if you are interested. All right. Let me go back uh, to some. I'm going to show some pearls right now, guys. I haven't shown these. Or... You'll take them all? Okay, you can have them. How about that? You're going to get them all, Blandine. It's so cute. Seriously, like even this, you could turn into a pendant. Now, this is the Anne Klein Lion. So this is came from Anne Klein. So that's awesome, Blandine. You're going to love them. <gasps> I did. I twisted her arm. Well, somebody had to. Somebody had to. It's going to be me. <laughs> oh, okay. So I've got some pearls. These are genuine pearls. And um, I really believe these are Tahitian pearls. Uh, from what I have, um, what I have um, looked up, I did some research on these pearls. And I believe them to be Tahitian. Now, this is a set. This is a bracelet and necklace set, guys. I am starting these out at $50. Uh, this is an awesome deal for this set. Now, I'm going to uh, measure the necklace because this necklace is long. This is such a great deal. Um, this is 34, uh, 35 inches. 35 inches on just the necklace alone on these multicolored uh pearls where is there's my jewelry form now i'm going to show you the necklace first uh these are exquisite looking very elegant uh you've got different colors you've got <coughs> excuse me guys sorry you've got um champagne colored pearls You've got pale pink uh, pearls. You've got like a peach color. You've got a topaz uh, brown color. You've got this um, silver tone pearl. These are all real pearls. Uh, they look to be Baroque pearls to me. And like I said, uh, the research I did, these look like they are Tahitian pearls. Um, and that's what it looks like to me. Now, you're not only getting the necklace, okay? You are getting the pearl bracelet as well. It is stretch. Now, um, I'm not, it's, it's still got plenty of stretch, okay? When these pearls, if you order this set, please, please, for the love of God, please. Put them on slow. Do not ram and jam because if you do, you're going to snap this. And if you don't know how to make jewelry and to restring this, uh, you know, that's going to be a problem. You're going to have pearls all over the place. Please be gentle with any stretch bracelet, but especially these pearls. I mean, this is gorgeous, guys. You are getting this whole set. And like I said, if you do your research, this appears to be Tahitian pearls. And uh, it is gorgeous. Now, you don't ever find this long of a pearl necklace. Real pearls, I mean. Uh, so this is very, very uh, unusual. Also, this is marked. Um, 
I'm going to get out my loop. It is marked on the little, uh, the lobster claw clasp on the little lever, that little tiny space, it's marked. So let me look it up. Take off my glasses. They're just getting in the way. Okay, it's the letter H. And they are not, and the class is 925. The letter H, if I recall right, is Hanara. Uh, how do you pronounce that uh, name brand in pearls? Not honor, but Honora pearls. That's what these are. And it's 925, the clasp. Let me show you. So this is a sterling clasp. This is high quality. I'm going to show you. See the H right there, guys? There's the H right there on the little lever. When you flip it over, then you see the 925 in the same spot on the other side. So this is sterling. Nine two five. Conora. Yep. Conora pearls, guys. Look it up. Okay. This is a complete set, and it is nine two five findings. Okay. Uh, this is a great deal. Uh, that is a, a great um, name brand in pearls. This is a set. Let me know if you're interested. Uh, for you resellers, there's still plenty of meat on the bones. You can turn around and resell this for more. Okay? So there's that. I wanted to show you those. We're going to go on. I have a rhodochrosite ring. Oh, we have Lisa's treasures. Hi, 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 Lisa. Welcome. Lisa is in at 50. So we are going to go once to Lisa. Thank you so much for being here, Lisa. We're going to go twice to Lisa. They're beautiful. Like I said, I really wouldn't doubt it. From the research I did on these, when I looked up the pearls, the, the kind, uh, I believe these are Lisa Tahitian pearls. Um, you can do the research yourself if you want to, but from what I looked up, they really do look like Tahitian pearls to me. I could be wrong, um, so I'm not going to like say definitely they are, but they look like it to me. Which Tahitian pearls for all of you ladies that don't know, that is top of the line pearls. As far as where we get our pearls, that is one location that is like top of the line as far as, um, you know, where they come from. That is so, Lisa, that is coming home to you. Congratulations. Awesome. Awesome. It's a beautiful set. It's just beautiful. Okay. So, congratulations, Lisa. My next ring is going to be a size eight and a quarter. This is a sterling ring. And I am going to start this out at just $30, guys. I am marking stuff down. I'm marking my sterling down because I need it to go. Um, I've got new batches coming in. This is what it looks like. This is a rhodochrosite, uh, which is basically a pink banded agate is basically what the rhodochrosite is. Usually... Um, 
you don't see the banding a lot in the rhodochrosite. Usually you just see the white marbling. Uh, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous stone. Uh, it is a larger band. It is totally open in the back. Now I'm going to measure it in grams. In grams, it is seven grams. So not too shabby for a ring. Uh, that's a good, good um, amount in sterling. It is 925. It is stamped right there on the side. I did test it. It is definitely sterling. And that is a substantial stone. If you love peak, you're going to love that one. I'm marking this down starting at $30 if anybody's interested. Like I said, I'm marking it down to go on my sterling tonight, guys. I just need my sterling to go. So uh, you will be seeing cheaper prices tonight. So please uh, make note of that. All right. I have shown this before. This is a size 8. Um, I am also going to mark this down to $30. I had this at $45. I am marking it down to $30. That's right, folks. This is a brand new sterling ring. The stone is called Owyhee Opal. It is a powdered blue stone. This is an actual opal. It's a style of opal that is a powdered blue, very opaque stone. Um, it, it is so beautiful. It's like a very pale looking Lamar stone, if you will. But this uh, same coloration almost, uh, but it's all opaque. It's not like a blue stone with white marbling to resemble like clouds in the sky. Uh, this is just opaque, very beautiful, beautiful stone. Now, this one has three um, bands that they connect right there in the middle. It's totally open in the back. Uh, this one is marked 925 right on the side. And there's the stone. Size 8, if you're interested, you just holler out in the chat. Like I said, guys, I'm marking my sterling down. I just want it to go uh, to a home uh, to someone that's going to love it, right? Then my next one is a stone necklace, uh, another gorgeous, gorgeous item. I am marking this down also, guys. I am going to start this out at $22. Uh, I had that this for uh, more. This looks to be about 30 inches. I'll show you here in a minute, and then I'll talk about the stones. Um, this one is, yeah, 30 inches, guys. Now, I'm going to show you the clasp. It's that uh, pin box style clasp right there. I'm going to double this, and then we're going to talk about the stones, okay? Now, oh, wants to fall off that jewelry form. There we go. There we go, guys. Um, we've got multicolored stones here, and most of these are... Um, most of these are agate. I'm seeing tree agate. I'm seeing um, brown agate. I'm seeing some moss agate. Um, I thought I had seen some jasper looking stones as well. But I believe most of these, if not all, are agate. Uh, different hues, different colors. We've got green. We've got one that looks purple. We've got one that's burgundy. Uh, we've got different color browns. We've got the uh, camel colored browns. I mean, uh, beautiful. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Thank you so much. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. Like I said, I had to mark it down, guys. I need it to go. It, this needs to be worn by somebody. Uh, you know, who's going to love all those greens and browns. Uh, there's purple in there. There's red. I mean, it's it's just gorgeous. 
and I just feel like, you know, it's a shame that it's sitting here uh, because these colors are so beautiful. And um, like I said, it should go home to somebody who's going to wear them. Uh, so that's my stone necklace, $22. Uh, you can't go wrong there. Lots of agate. I mean, like I said, 30 inches of nothing but different colored agate. Uh, amazing. We're going to do a carnelian ring. This one is a size 8. And um, guys, uh, I'm going to do a special on this one tonight. We're going to start this one out at just $25. Now, this is one of my brand new sterling rings. I'm marking it down that low. Uh, $25, size 8. Uh, there it is, guys. This is a four-prong um, set carnelian stone. This is a brand new sterling ring. It's got that detail work right there on the band. Beautiful carnelian. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. I, I'm just trying to get this sterling out of here. I've got brand new sterling guys coming. And so I, but I need to get rid of this old stock to bring in the new. There's the back of the stone. It's totally open. Now, like I said, guys, this is brand new sterling. You can't beat it uh, with a stick. This is 925. It is tested. And uh, like I said, $25. $25 for brand new sterling. You can go into any jewelry store at any time and ask them for a brand new sterling carnelian ring and if you ask them to find one for 25 dollars, i guarantee they're going to laugh in your face uh because uh you're not going to find one in a jewelry store not at that price it is gorgeous let me know if you're interested like i said i'm marking them down i want my sterling to go tonight uh hopefully um and I, there's no pressure to buy guys don't that probably made it sound like I'm pressuring. I'm not pressuring anybody. Um, I just happen to have some new stock coming, and it's a lot nicer when you can get rid of the old stock. You know what I mean? Because I don't want a lot. We have 25 in right now with Lisa, and we are going to mark that down. Uh, or, I mean, we are going to mark it down. I already did mark it down. We're going <laughs> to call it down to Lisa. We're going to go once. <laughs> Uh, guys, when I start drinking water, stuff happens. Ask, ask Autumn. She knows about this because it happens every Tuesday and Thursday when I'm drinking water. Something weird starts to go. <laughs> it's like a chemical imbalance. I don't know. I'm not even sure. We are sold. And that is yours, Lisa. Congratulations. Let me mark you down for that one. Beautiful ring. Congratulations. All right. Let's do another. Um, I know. I've got this shell bracelet. Now, this is not sterling. But I'm going to start this. Uh, let's just do a buy it now for five. I'm just going to do a buy it now for five. This is something I've had for a while. Uh, once again, it just needs to go. We have this dyed um, abalone shell bracelet. It's dyed brown. It's got the brown pieces of uh, shell done in like the cylinder shape there. You guys know that stretch bracelet. We've seen this bracelet a million times over. Now, I have a collection of these shell bracelets. I do, in different colors. So here's the brown. Just kind of have to mess with it. $5 if you want it. Just put want in the chat, guys. That's all you got to do. And that one goes home to somebody. So I know that's not sterling, but that's that one. Okay. I have some jade earrings, guys. Let's do the jade earrings. Uh, these are little stud earrings. These are so beautiful. They're so beautiful. 
Now I gotta check. I'm not sure if these are uh, sterling or not. How about this? I'm not gonna price these as sterling earrings. I'm not. These are definitely jade. These are for sure jade earrings, but I I don't know that they're sterling. They may be, but I'm going to price them as if they're not sterling. These are little stud earrings. I'm going to do a buy it now. You got to be quick, guys. You got to say want in the chat, okay? To get the earrings, you got to say want, okay? This is going to be buy it now for $7. That's all I want for these earrings. Whether they're sterling or not, I don't even care. I'm just trying to get rid of them. These are little jade leaf earrings. $7 and you can have them. Just say want in the chat and they are yours. They're little stud earrings. Uh, like I said, they are jade. Okay, Lisa, you got it. Congratulations. They're beautiful. Beautiful little stud earrings. Like I said, they could be sterling. I did not test them. Um, you know, if they are, congratulations to you. <laughs> uh, you can definitely flip them for more if they are. <laughs> congratulations, Lisa. Awesome. Okay. So, I have, okay, I have another stone necklace. Now, I am going to do this as a buy it now for $15, and it's a stone necklace, okay, guys? So, let me put buy it now in the chat, buy it now for $15, and it's yours, okay? Let me measure this first so you know how long it is. This one is a shorter one. I know the last necklaces we've showed is 30 inches. This one is uh, 14, 15 and a half, 15 and a half inches. Um, so uh, it's a smaller one, but it's nice. Hey, thing one is in the house. Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome. Everybody always asks me, Dawn, who is thing one? Who are you talking about? Well, it's Elizabeth. That's who it is. <laughs> I have my Elizabeth crew. Uh, they're my Elizabeth. No, they're everybody's Elizabeth, but I call them my thing crew. We have Elizabeth. She is thing one. Elizabeth K is thing two. And then makeup zombie Elizabeth is thing three. And that's my Elizabeth crew. And so I have my thing one in the house. Uh, this is a buy it now. This is a stone necklace. $15. You just say want in the chat. Uh, we have this beautiful, beautiful, multifaceted stone necklace. It has a beautiful wood, painted wood uh, rose down here at the bottom. These are all stone. Okay. Now. The stone on these, on these ones, once again, we got some tree agate. Uh, we have some, um, I see jade. I see uh, some jasper. I see some uh, possible um, red quartz. It Honestly, that looks like... Uh, cherry cherry quartz to me so we got cherry quartz tree agate we've got some jasper we got some pink quartz uh we've got some yellow quartz we've got some clear quartz uh yeah we just got some of everything in here uh so elizabeth you want these okay that is yours oh no i i'm sorry the stone this is not Stone. If you want to retract, that's okay, Elizabeth. Uh, this is not stone. This one right here, just the the rest of these, the faceted uh, stones. These are all stone. Uh, but this, the the rose is not. Uh, so you don't. If you don't want to buy it, it's no problem, Elizabeth. That's no problem. That's okay, Elizabeth. No problem. No problem. I totally understand. 
this right here, guys, is a piece of wood that was painted. Um, and like I said, oops, sorry, cat. I just scared the cat by dropping my jewelry for him. Um, just the uh, stones up top. These are all stone, stones in the chain right here. Uh, this is a wood rose. So if anybody's interested in that one, just let me know. I'm going to put that one up. It's a very unusual piece. Uh, I wish they would have made that rose out of stone. You would you would think, yeah, it is a good paint job. I'm telling you, it is. Okay. Now, this one, here's another necklace. Now, this one is completely all stone except for the fabric that runs through it. Now, this is a ton of stone. This one is going to be a little bit higher because it is a ton of stone, and it, I, I'm going to weigh it for you. Uh, just get ready for the weight of this necklace. I have to start this one out at $40, guys, uh, because of the sheer amount, okay, of stone. So here we go. I am going to measure it. This is a long one. You are at least going to have to double this, if not triple it, um, unless you're Carolyn. Gambrell, and uh, she usually wears them long. <laughs> uh, this one is 50 and a half inches long. So, yeah, you can triple this one, and you're probably going to want to. I have to start this out at 40 for the sheer amount of stone. Now, I'm going to weigh it for you in grams. I hope you're ready because this is a lot of weight. This is. 220 grams of stone. That's right. 220. Now, what we have here, I'm going to show you all the different stone. Uh, we've got some banded agate right there. Uh, we have some, these, this bead right here looks carnelian to me in a way. Um, that one right there. That looks like a smoky, uh, mm, kind of looks like a smoky, like milky quartz almost. Uh, we got some more banded agate, carnelian. We've got this deep uh, green stone right here. Um, I'm not sure, but that could be. Uh, a serpentine type, but I don't think so. Uh, just a lot of agate. Uh, you've got the different colors here. You see that banding of the agate. Uh, this one right here, this one looks like a Montana agate, guys, uh, a little bit. So this one looks like Montana agate to me. Um, then you've got this gray banded agate. This is basically all agate. Now, if you look in the middle, they are knotted, but it's with fabric. There's fabric running through here instead of a chain. So you've got greens, you've got grays, you've got browns, you've got uh, auburn colored stones. Uh, that green is deep. I mean, it's a deep hunter green. Uh, so like I said, um, if you had a really small neck, you could triple it, but um, probably doubling it at least. Uh, that is a lot of stone. Lots. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, but I did want to show it to you um, because honestly, if I made jewelry, I would take a piece like that for sure. It's a great deal if you wanted to make jewelry out of that because that's a lot of agate. And uh, you could make some fantastic things out of that. Tons of jewelry. I mean, tons of earrings, bracelets, necklaces, what have you. Let's move on. I'm going to show a Sterling Mother Pearl necklace. Um, I'm going to start this out at a lower price, guys. Like I said, I'm marking down my Sterling tonight. So please stay tuned if you are into the Sterling. I'm going to start out this bad boy at just $30. That's right, $30, guys. I had this marked up, but I need it to go. I am going to measure it, and I will weigh it in grams. 
Uh, the length on this looks 18 inches, but I'm going to measure it anyway just to make sure. Yeah, 18 inches on this. We're going to weigh it. Uh, this one is 8 grams, which is not too shabby for this piece. We're starting it out at $30, guys. This is a mother of pearl stone right there. Uh, this is a big rectangle piece of it, too. You got all that sterling. Now, this has been tested. I also want to say that the chain is also tested. It is sterling. This is a box chain. Okay. So, this is all sterling. I had this marked higher, uh, but I am reducing the price um, uh, for quick sale because I need this stuff to go so I can get my newer pieces. 925 Italy, you can see uh, on the little razor blade, it's marked. It is also uh, marked on the, um, the pendant. Now, the box chain is 925 Italy, but the pendant was added to it. It is 925 Thailand. So... There you go. There's Thailand. And there's the 925. <laughs> we are at 30 with Lisa. I'm sorry, Lisa. I don't mean to kill you. We want you to stay alive. <laughs> so this is a Thailand uh, pendant, guys. And it was added to an Italian sterling. A uh, box chain. So there you go. All right, let's do the countdown. We're going to go once. Well, I guess we're going twice. We're going twice to Lisa because <laughs> I put going twice. Yes, uh, guys, just hang tight during this sterling because I am marking it down. I want it, it's marking down for quick sale because I need my sterling to go so I can get my new in. So that's why we're just marking it down as we go. Last call, guys. And we are sold. That is yours, Lisa. Congratulations. Uh, you're going to love that one. You're going to love it. Patty, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. Yes, uh, it's, it's a great deal. And like I said, uh, I just need my sterling to start going out the door it needs to go and be loved by somebody and i need to get some new sterling in so we're all you know you're helping me to help you kind of thing <laughs> that's how we do it all right let's go on to the next i have another necklace i'm gonna reduce the price on this one too guys we're going to start this baby out at $30 as well. Like I said, I did have it higher, but I need stuff to go. So I'm marking it down. This one is so cute. Oh, this one I want to keep so bad, guys. This is the one that I'm so, one of the ones I'm tempted. This and that Western boot that I got, that Western cowgirl boot. Uh, this one is. 18 19 and a half inches long so this one is a longer one which i love oh get ready for this guys just get ready get ready get ready this is starting out at 30 guys we have a whale a whale that has like he's swimming on the water is that not cute or what look at his little happy face he's so happy He's just swimming along. Uh, once again, we have a box chain. Uh, let me see. Now, once again, the pendant and the chain, it is all 100% sterling. So we're going to start with the, um, I'm going to get the magnifier. I'm going to show you the pendant. There's the marking on the pendant, guys. 
And then I'm going to show you the marking on the clasp. It says 925RO, and then it says SU at the bottom on that little razor blade. That popular razor blade right there. Oh, come on, razor blade. You can do it, buddy. Of course, I just get you up there and you want to turn on me. There we go. Come on, buddy. There we go. Look at that. Well, it's upside down, but you get the hint. Uh, this is a cute little whale. Oh, I love this one. Once again, it's on a box chain. It is 925. He is adorable. Adorable. And that is that one. If anybody's interested, let me know. Cute, 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 cute. All right. I'm going to try a bracelet, guys. Um, this is a sterling bracelet. Okay. I am going to, um, we're going to just start this one out, guys. At $25. Like I said, markdowns are everywhere uh, because I need stuff to go. This is a beautiful, beautiful um, bracelet here. All sterling. And this is size seven and a half. Let me put that in the chat. Okay. So your standard size. Take a look at this bracelet. We've got this uh, twisted, um, twisted chain effect on this bracelet. Let me clasp it, and then I will. Um, I'll show it to you here. It's a beautiful bracelet. Now you know um, it's good to have sterling bracelets. I think um, both sizes, like. I mean, in the big, chunky style, like Native American, but also ones like these that are smaller in nature, um, you know, that you can just throw on and they literally go with anything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think, I think, you know, everyone should have them if they like their sterling. And if I could just clasp it, that would be great. I had this one hooked together, and then now, do you think it wants to hook? No. Okay, well, I'm going to quit with that. I'm just going to show it to you. This is a beautiful, beautiful tested sterling um, twisted rope design. I am going to show you the marks, as I always do. Let's show this one first. Okay, so one side is marked 925 and the other side is marked Made in Italy. Right there, guys, it says Made in Italy. Oh, dear. There we go. It says Made in Italy. And then when you flip it over... It says 925. Come on, buddy. Right there. Well, you can't really see it, but it says 925, made in Italy. I tell Italian silver, guys. And that's the bracelet. If anybody's interested, you just let me know. That's 25. All right. Let's go on to the next. Let's do, okay, I know what I want to do. I have three, um, these you can use as key rings or you can use as pendants. I've had these for a while. I did test these and um, these are not sterling. 
I am, um, however, I am going to start these out each at $20. Now, um, these are, uh, what do you call it? Um, etched um, or carved or whatever. I don't know. We're going to show the first one. The first one says Daisy. And it's got these beautiful flowers. These are spoon key rings. Now they can be key rings or they, you could put them on a chain and make them into a pendant. So there's Daisy. Uh, the second one is Lisa. Believe it or not, I have a Lisa right there with a pretty flower. Like I said, uh, you can put a ring on this for your and use it as a keychain. You can use this as a pendant. And then the third one is Emily. These are starting out at 20. Actually, let's, you know what? I'm gonna mark it down, guys. We're gonna start these out at 15. I'm gonna start these out at 15. I just need them to go. We're gonna reduce the price 15, okay? So I've got Daisy, Emily, and Lisa. Uh, we're going to start them out at 15. They are not sterling. I want to emphasize that. Uh, but they were, the names are etched on the spoons. If anybody's interested, let me know. Uh, those three, they're all three different spoons. I did look for a bunch more, but um, I could not find any more. They had old fashion names i mean really old-fashioned out there they had the name hattie they had the name um oh they didn't have henrietta what else did they have they had um gertrude i think they had bertha uh just names okay so i didn't get them they were all old-fashioned literally except for those names did you not True story there, folks. It blew my mind, too. Trust me. I was like, what? So, um, let's do another sterling ring. Um, this one, Bob, we're going to put uh, starting out at $15. $15 for this ring. It is size 8 and 3 quarters. Uh, now, this is sterling. It says... Is that N E or N F? N E and nine two five. I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you the nine two five. We're going to start out at fifteen. There's the nine two five, and when you flip it to the other side, it says N E. Uh, that's the signature of the artist. Uh, I believe this is Native American. Okay, so. This is size eight and three quarters, guys. It is marked by the artist. We're starting it at $15 for Native American, okay? Sterling, tested, okay? Like I said, I'm marking it down. I just need stuff to go. If anybody's interested, $15. Got a nice thick band on this one. They kind of look like a faux marcasite almost. You know, the way they, you know, did the diamond um, stamping on that. Yeah, it's a pretty one. It is. And this would be a great way to get a hold of a Native American ring at a lower cost, you know, to you. So uh, there's that. We're going to go on. Also, this is uh, this next one is going to. Oh, we have Patty Kent at 15. Thank you, Patty. All right, let's go ahead and count her down, Bob. We're going to go once to Patty. Like I said, guys, I just had to mark my sterling down. Uh, the whole point is to get it to move out of my home and into yours. So 
uh, we're going to mark it down and make that happen. So. Congratulations, Patty. That is yours. Okay. This next one is going to be a buy it now for $5. It's another one of those shell bracelets. Uh, this one is in totally in Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl, guys, uh, this is gorgeous. It is smooth. Uh, once again, if you buy this, please do not force it on and do not put it on quickly. Put it on nice and slow. Okay? $5 for Mother of Pearl. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Cool. Um, if you live in a warmer uh, state, if you do, uh, I hate you. <laughs> I don't hate you. But I mean, I love you, but I hate you. I, I don't know how to put it. You guys know. Over here, we got the snow and ice, but I do love you. But <laughs> if you live in a warmer state, this will cool you down. I will say that. So there's that. All right. Okay. This is a bracelet. It's got some stone chips in it. Let me see. It's a stretch. What do we got here? We're going to do another bite now for five, guys. Uh, these, this does have some real stone. Uh, we've got... The green stone, um, maybe jadeite. Uh, you got some um, quartz. You've got some um, um, colored quartz. And you've got a, uh, the blue stone. Um, I think it's glass. Here you go, guys. I'll show you. Uh, this is just going to be $5. Buy it now. Uh, this is the dark green stone. Right here is the quartz. I've got a little color in it. Little stone chips. Uh, the blue is glass. Uh, this one right here is acrylic. This one right here is, um, yeah, that's acrylic. Here's a stone chip right here. So there's that. Let's just do, you know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to do a buy it now for $2. $2. Uh, this has real stone chip. I just want it to go. So if anybody wants that for 2 bucks, you can have it. Okay? Just put want in the chat. All right, so there's that. Okay, I just don't want to put it back in my drawer. <laughs> All right, let's do a necklace, a sterling necklace. Okay, I'm going to measure this necklace. This is 16, 17 and a half, 17 and a half inches long. Now, this is a brand new necklace. I have to start this out at 35, uh, but it's a really great de deal for brand new sterling. Okay. Um, I'm going to weigh it. In grams, it weighs six grams total. And what I have here, let me spin it around. Uh, this stone is called an aqua chalcedony. Now, uh, regular chalcedony stones are blue. 
This is the Aqua, which is like a, uh, it's very similar to a Aqua Marine as far as the color. Uh, so an Al Aqua Chalcedony and an Aqua Marine are basically about the same color, that green, green, light blue. It's more, uh, more green than blue. It is a beautiful oval stone we have, and it's done on the ball beaded sterling chain. This is a brand new sterling chain, guys. It is tested. Uh, the pendant is sterling as well. This is all sterling. I'll show you the back of the stone. Beautiful stone. It's just, man, it's a gorgeous stone. Uh, there is 925 right on top of the bale. I'm going to show you that. And then I'm going to show you the markings as well. There's 925 right there at the top of the bale. I'm sorry that was blurry. We're going to go to the razor blade. The razor blade also says 925. We're going to flip it around this way so that you guys can see it. There we go. Now, please, buddy, don't turn on me. Take a look at that. There's the 925, guys. Uh, bingo, I got it. <laughs> Starting at 35, guys. Now, you don't see these chains a lot. Uh, you just don't. Good luck finding them. And if you find them, um, they're probably going to be a lot smaller than this chain. Obviously, you can add an extender to this chain if you wanted to, okay? Just pointing that out there if you wanted to make it longer. So there's that one. We're going to put him up. And we're going to go to some other. Okay, my next ring is a size six and a half. And um, I don't know if this is Ruby. It could be, may or may not, but it is Marcosite and like I said, possible Ruby. Um, I'm gonna say that it's not Ruby, just for the sake, you know, of, not wanting to be wrong. Uh, if it is Ruby, congratulations. I am going to start out at $28 on this, guys. $28, that's it. We have a stone and marcasite ring that is absolutely gorgeous. In my opinion, this looks very Victorian to me. Uh, it's a gorgeous marcasite uh, ring with that stone right in the middle. Size six and a half. Uh, you got that little bit of a split shank right there. It comes together in a, a larger uh, band. Um, this is not a new ring. This is vintage. As you could probably guess, it was vintage. It is marked 925. And there is another marking on the inside. I'll show you. It's a beautiful uh, colored stone. Like I said, I don't believe it to be a ruby. I'm not real sure what stone it is. If it is a stone, it may even be glass. But I'm starting out at $28. I'm not going to pretend that it is a stone. I'll just, you know, it could be a glass. But it is so beautiful. It's that purple red. Uh, not really fuchsia. It's more of like a, almost like a fluorescent maroon. If that makes any sense at all, it may or may not to you. I don't know. But it is gorgeous. All the marcasite around that oval. Here's the back. Gorgeous stone. If anybody's interested, you let me know. Now, I'm going to go straight into a costume piece. This was so unusual. When I got this out of the box, I couldn't believe it. It is gorgeous, and it whoever made this, um, I just thought they did such a awesome job. 
I did clean this piece. Um, I am going to start this out at $10. Like I said, this is artisan made, but it is fantabulous in my opinion. Here we go, guys. This is a gorgeous wire wrap artisan made necklace. It is so awesome. A uh, big, huge, huge. Uh, mm, I think those are actually resin stones. They are not glass. Uh, they're resin. So they're not acrylic. They're made out of resin, which is, I thought for sure that was going to be glass, but it is not. Uh, this is completely wire wrapped. Uh, obviously one of a kind. I want to show you the back. There is a long extender to this. The extender, I don't know, probably two and a half inches at least on the extender. I think this is great. Uh, if you want a statement, but in a whole different way, uh, this is the one to have. Uh, the clear resin beads with like the white pearlescent enamel in the middle of the beads is just beautiful. And then it has the faux pearls that are uh, encapsulated in the silver tone, all wire wrapped, starting at 10. If anybody's interested, you let me know. I'm gonna put that one up for now. I just had to show you that one, guys. It's very different, very unusual, but I wanted, if anybody, wanted uh the chance at that one i wanted you guys to see it so all right guys i'm gonna show a couple more pieces and then i'm gonna close down shot okay so uh let me show a couple more pieces and then we're gonna be done for tonight all right i have got a size seven sterling ring Size seven. Uh, we are going to start out this one at twenty-five dollars. Uh, this is cubic zirconia, and this is about four carats of cubic zirconia. Uh, it is not showing up on my scales, so it's probably like 0 0.2 grams. It's probably that low. I want. Uh, we're going to start it out at twenty-five. Take a look at this bad boy, guys. We're talking at least four carats of uh, CZ here. Um, also, you have some more CZs that are channel set right in the band. And um, man, this is gorgeous. Uh, you talk about sparkle power. Look at the rainbow effect in that CZ. Oh, man, drop dead gorgeous. I always say about these kind of rings, uh, you know, um, if you really maybe were looking to get married and you really didn't have the money for no, you know, $15,000 ring, uh, this is the way to go. It's sterling. Um, so it's, you know, nice quality. You've got a CZ, um, even though it's not a diamond. I mean, take a look at that sparkle power. It's just beautiful. Uh, in my mind, this would be a great solitaire, um, you know, engagement ring, if nothing else. Uh, this is, I'll show you the back. Open right back there. This has been tested. Uh, as I always test my sterling, it is stamped 925. And uh, that is that one. We're going to go on to the next. Well, this tiny little bag, getting it back in that little bag. Vita, welcome. So glad to have you. Okay. I've got another CZ ring. Now, this one is much smaller. I am going to start this out at $20. It is a size four and three quarters. I know that's mega small, uh, but there are my little elves out there in the chat. You know who you are. You've got little tiny fingers. You know who you are. 
$20. We're going to start out this sterling ring. Uh, this is a CZ. It's a size four and three quarters. It is that uh, teardrop shaped stone. Once again, it's done just like the other one, except this is a teardrop. You've got the channel set CZs. You've got the CZs all the way around that teardrop. Uh, I would guess probably a good four carats of CZ right there. Very thin band. This is tested sterling. Uh, starting out at 20, guys, you can't go wrong. Just spectacular. If anybody's interested, let me know. Now, I'm going to show some costume rings. For those of you that have a tighter budget, I do understand we just had Christmas. So now I'm going to show you some costume rings that are gorgeous, uh, but they are costume, but equally as gorgeous. Uh, but obviously, they're going to be a lower price because they're costume. I have an adjustable ring. And I am starting this out at five dollars. I got it. Take a look at this gorgeous one, guys. We've got some um, we've got some black beads that form a flower right at the top of that ring, and then we've got some beautiful crystals in this one. Uh, this is uh, kind of like gunmetal color. Uh, there's two flowers. The ones all in black rhinestones and the other ones in the gunmetal colored rhinestones with the black center um and then you've got the crystals i mean this is so beautiful this ring it is adjustable it's just a fashion uh ring uh right now it's made bigger obviously you could uh make it smaller i'll go ahead and tell you what it's sitting at right now just so you know it's sitting at about nine and a half. Obviously, you can make this much smaller. You could even make this a little bigger. I mean, uh, so this will fit many of you ladies out there. If you're interested, just let me know. Um, so that ring number one, these are just costume rings that I'm trying to get rid of. They're very nice, uh, but we're just going to go from there. This one, another adjustable ring. This one is also, um, let's start this one out at $3, Bob. We're going to start out this adjustable ring out at $3, guys. And here it is, guys. It's this ring with a bunch of crystals. It's got, oh, like a purple crystal. It's got like uh, pink, blue. And they got an AB coating on them. They're like metallic AB coating. Just an adjustable ring. Starting out at $3. Uh, like I said, I wanted to give you guys some options tonight. Those of you that can't afford the sterling tonight, I thought I would show you some cheaper deals. Um, just in case uh, anybody wanted them. Do another one. This one's going to start out at $5. It's a size 7. I love this one. This one is awesome and it does not fit me. Otherwise, uh, I'd be keeping it. Take a look at this one, guys. Look at that. Five. Yep, this one's starting out at five, guys. It's a size 7. I mean, is that not gorgeous or what? It's just a costume ring done on gunmetal. Right there, the black gunmetal. I love it. That little swirly cue. Uh, I just can't keep it. I can't wear a size 7, as you can tell. Otherwise, this would never go anywhere. I love the style of it. $5, size 7, if anybody's interested.
what else we got here? The next one's going to start out at three. It is a stretch ring, and it is a like a rose, basically, I guess, or a flower of some sort. Here it is, guys. It's a big one. It is a stretch ring done in the silver tone. Three bucks if you're interested in that one. I know uh, these big rings are not for everybody, so I'll show you some smaller ones too, guys. So there's that one. Okay, let's do Let's do a size eight and a quarter, Bob. And um this one guys, um I did pay a little bit more for I am going to start this out at um, $10. It is a size eight and a quarter. Uh, once again, it's a solitaire uh, ring. I love this one. This one is beautiful. It's got the scalloping right there. It's got the channel set uh, stones. Once again, this is CZ. Uh, the carrot in this, I'm guessing this one's about a good at least six to seven carats probably in that CZ. I mean, that's a big CZ. Uh, this one is starting out at 10. It is a size eight and a quarter. Medium size thickness on that band. Um, it is not marked on the inside. I'll show you. Uh, that's the back of the stone there. Really, really nice on that one if you're interested. I'm going to show one more, guys, and then we're going to call it quits for the night. I'll show another costume ring. Let's start this one out at $3. It is a stretch ring, but boy, is this pretty. I just got this one, and oh, man, it's beautiful. If you like pink, you like pink, here we go, guys. Starting out at 3 take a look at that one. We've got the pink rhinestones kind of woven together there. Um, yeah, I like that one. That one's so nice. And it's done in the like rose gold. It's literally like pink rose tone metal, which is very unusual. So that one's pretty. And it's got a snug fit, but I like this style better on the stretch ring than the other style. Really sparkly, three bucks if anybody's interested in that one. And so guys, that is my auction tonight. Thank you all for being here. I'm gonna, um, we're gonna uh, get into the uh, announcements for tonight. Uh, first and foremost, I will be invoicing tomorrow. Uh, what time tomorrow? I do not know. I cannot, uh, obviously, when I get up. Um, so when I get up, I usually get something to drink and whatnot and do a couple things. Um, I might have an errand or two tomorrow morning before I start my invoices, and then I'm going to start. Um, but uh, I will be invoicing tomorrow. Please pay within 24 hours. Uh, this is going to be an accumulative of all my auctions up until um, tomorrow. So it'll be all of them. And I will combine them um, so it's cheaper for shipping with you guys, uh, of course. I do invoice every Monday, those of you who do not know uh, my schedule. I'm still in love with this bracelet. I got to keep this one, guys, for a while. I, I can't sell it right now. I can't love this one uh but anyway uh so also i am going to have another auction tomorrow with carol um i i don't even know who all is going to be with us tomorrow i can't remember what she said but it's at 6 30 p.m eastern 
on Carol's channel. Everybody, please join me there. And then I will continue invoicing if I have not got it done. Then we go to Tuesday. And, and by the way, as soon as you guys pay, I ship. Meaning if I get my invoices done in time, which I hope to God I do, and uh, before the post office closes and you pay me uh, right away, I will get them out tomorrow. If not, I will get them out Tuesday if you pay later, which is fine. Uh, you guys know that. Also, um, Autumn Grace and I and uh, Carol will be on Tuesday night. And that is at 8 p.m. Eastern. Please look for me on her channel. Then Wednesday night, Wednesday night, you guys ready for this? I am on somebody's channel I have never, ever been on. You ready? I am going to be on Patsy Craftsy's um, channel Wednesday night with Carol and Jenny. Now, let me tell you the time. I got to look it up. I know. I, I've never done it before with Patsy. I don't know why, uh, but I have not. Uh, it is going to be at 4.15 p.m. Eastern, uh, Wednesday night. So please join me on Patsy's auction with Carol and Jenny, 4.15, Wednesday night. So I know normally I do an auction at 6 p.m. Wednesday. Obviously, I will not be because I will be over on Patsy's. So please make note of that. Then Thursday, I will go back to Autumn Grace. It'll be me and Autumn. Thursday night, 8 p.m. I'm starting to get tired <laughs> just thinking about all these auctions. I didn't realize I scheduled myself so dang thick, but I did. So here we are. No, you guys know I love it. I love my job. I love what I do. And I love you guys. And uh, that is so far the upcoming auctions. So please join me on everybody's channel. I'm going to be just, it's just a progressive uh, auction I'm going to be having. So uh, yes. And I hope you can join me there at all those uh, junctures. And with that, I am going to sign off. Thank you all for being here. Love you. Love you to pieces. And uh, if you have any problems, any concerns, please hit me up in my email, trbl5 at yahoo.com, or hit me up on Facebook. I'm there, too, under Dawn Lane. Uh, so I will see you later, Gators. Bye-bye. And Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year.